What's going on, everyone? And welcome to the Coliseum, season number two, week number four. It's Mortal Kombat X tonight. I'm your host, Mr. Aquaman, and joining me for these Mortal Kombat X tournaments. It's been a blast from the past. It's Michelangelo. What's going on, Mike? Oh, man, Aquaman, great to be here. We got an exciting tournament this day. Oh, let's get that... it going. Where's that bracket? Hey, uh, let's waste no time here. Give the people what they want. Who's playing tonight? What are they playing for? They're playing for some money at the end of the season. I'll put the total up right there. We're raising the prize pool. Exclamation point Macharino in the chat. Tonight, we got a bit of a blockbuster right out of the gate. Ghost Samurai versus Creaky X. These are two of our guys. I'm actually going to real quick, do a quick little jump over here and show you that Creaky X and Ghost Samurai are currently one and three in points for the season. Oh yeah, man. Both of these players, super exciting. Creaky X, last week's winner. He um he's the known Jax player. You don't see many Jaxes. And for him to win last week, that was amazing. And Ghost Samurai, he's no stranger to grand finals. He defeated the MKX Coliseum champ known as Cyclone. Both of these men going at it right now in round one. This is gonna be exciting. The sparks are gonna fly. I'm actually looking to see if I have a copy of the bracket from last week, and I just might. Hold on a second. Nope. MK11. Oh, I wasn't able to capture it because I think that they played in... It was either round one or semifinals last week uh, as it was uh, Jax versus... Um, Jax versus Shinnok in that matchup, I think. And we got t yeah. seed <laughs> Yeah, we've seen some funny... Um, um, he stole the the move jax's move and we were mm -hmm. wondering if he had the dash punch and he did um yes t seed i mm -hmm. out of any out of any person that i'm a fan of it is t seed i got introduced to him in week one of the coliseum yes. and just to see the amazing play he did i kept wondering where is this guy in week two where is he in week three i want to see him back i'm his fan um and i'm so happy he's back he's gonna make some moves this today that he is and his opponent tony jawbreaker joining us for the first time he reached out to me during the week and i was so excited he is one of the most electrifying players to watch not just in character selection but utilization of tech guys i'm gonna let you guys know i competed this week full time i played nine matches i went three and six um and tony jawbreaker did some things to me that i don't want to talk about and <laughs> if i tell you who with it might blow your mind a little bit more. I'm gonna go to my beautiful face when I say this. He used Unbreakable Sub-Zero oh, and yeah. wrecked my shit. It was incredible. I saw mix-ups and combos I've never seen before, Michelangelo, never in my life. And I'm an Unbreakable Sub-Zero player. And he did something to me that made me want to throw up. It's, it's gonna be like that tonight. Yeah, uh, Tony Jawbreaker, if I'm not mistaken, is a NorCal brother. He, I think um, so, yeah. Yeah, so shout out to Tony Jawbreaker. I used to see him at uh, the ESO locals. Uh, he was always known as a Sub-Zero. He played Sub-Zero in MK11. Um, so it's great to see him as well. Man, so many, like, th this, it's hitting home. So all these players we're talking about so far. Yeah, Sunio and Dink coming up. Hold on a second. Oh, this is this goodness. is the ultimate battle of zoners, if I've ever seen it here. Oh, my goodness. Dink coming in with the Quan Chi. Sunio finally joining us for MKX. He's actually on the leaderboard. Um, and he told me he was going to make top eight in every single game this weekend. He's two for two um, for Injustice 2 and Mortal Kombat X right now. And he's going to try to make top eight in MK11 tomorrow. What a legend. You see the points right there. Sunio, 11th in Injustice 2 and 6th in Mortal Kombat 11 right now this is his first week competing in mkx and he's a character specialist himself he rocks um mournful katana reptile and a couple others at a really really high level think the quan chi mk active making top eight and crowley the molina that was running wild with those teleports shredded me alive in the bracket here today um, almost everyone in this top eight gave me the business. Had a had a close game five with Creaky. Had a close game five with Dink that I uh, brought back from the grave. Um, Sunio ran over me. Crowley ran over me. Uh, Jawbreaker was really close. Really close. Uh, T-Seed destroyed me with Johnny Cage, uh, Michelangelo. Picked uh, A-list Johnny and canceled me to absolute death. And I forgot when my turn was. And... 
I blocked low a lot, and Johnny Cage has an overhead that hurts really, really hard. So that's, that's all I'm going to say here. Um, is Salisbury Torso saying I've never seen Sunio in MKX? Uh, expect a lot of similarities in game style that you see in the other two, right? Where he, he likes characters that have strong keep away game, strong aerial, um, you know, aerial dominance with something that's special cancelable in the air. And that's why Mournful is kind of his pick. He likes to be able to jump, be able to cancel it, and uh, annoy you to death. And that's exactly what... I, I can say he did to me in this tournament was he used Reptile, put out a bubble, and made me have to frustrate myself to get around it with a character like Kotal Khan. And it's really effective how he's able to kind of get under your skin with character selection and playstyle, Mike. And we'll see if that comes into play here today. I'm getting some invites out for these next two players, though. It's going to be Creaky Samurai, one and three in the leaderboard for season two here going at it. It's just how the cookie crumbled with their fortunes here today. Creakyax barely making it in. Our champion last week, Mike, barely made it in. I'll pull up some of their records uh, while we wait on them to get in here, but not kind of what we expected, seeing how things went last week. And, and no showing from Zappa either. Second place last week, Mike. No show here today. Yeah, it just seems like um, all these online players, it's like a death pool out there. Just, you know, you say, oh, okay, this guy got first place and now he barely made it. Um, it just show, goes to show how much uh, these players are just practicing and it could be anyone's game. No one's for sure like the dominant like Sonic Fox of uh, the yeah. online scene. So I'm excited to see today, man, what goes down. What goes down. And with uh, T-Seed, I'm a fan because he picks those high execution characters like the A-list Johnny Cage. He has the swag and with online, he's just like so crisp with all his cancels and everything. So can't and wait to see had, those matches. Was it Lasher Takeda? that he backed that Johnny Cage up with and a conjurer alien. Was that not him that went wild with like a lot of weird characters? Yeah, I think it was him. Uh, the one that chose the um, the face huggers and everything like that. No, okay, I'm getting them no, mixed up because him. yeah, it was it was, it was was another guy in that top eight, but I think that he was rocking the Lasher Takeda in grand finals. Okay, okay. I may yeah, have he had the that. spacing and everything. Yep, it, it was him, it was him. So Creaky X here went four and four today in the matchmaking uh everyone in here averaged about eight matches played um eight to nine matches go samurai went undefeated today nine and oh that's disgusting that's disgusting yeah. did, I, did, did anyone even take him to a game five let's see i have his he... entire record up here a lot of three o's but when he played creaky today mike it was a three two they have played today Ooh. he has something to prove go samurai's been in grand finals a couple times and um, he just hasn't grasped that first place yet, but um, he really Dude. wants it. And he he wants went. To dominate. He went undefeated today, but four of his matches were all were game five. He had a game five with Dink, Active, uh, Policy Shift, and Creaky X today. So this might be a lot closer than we realize. Oh yeah, man. There's gonna be some good games today. These players seem like they're leveling up on the show. Like they go. They lose, they learn, they come back next week, um, they show us something different. Um, it goes to show this game how much you could express yourself and how much you can learn in the millions of situations you could get into. Oh my gosh, this is really going down. It's the Jax, the Jax main himself, the week three champion, Creaky Axe, and Ghost okay. Samurai defeating the two-time champion in Cyclone. These guys are no stranger to high-level play. No slouches wow. today as Not well. Creaky has been playing out of his mind. He had such close sets with a lot of the players here today. Uh, Creaky Axe, both Creaky Axe and uh, Shujinki Dink made it in because of a tiebreaker. Uh, three people actually went four and four for the last two slots here tonight. And when that happens, it comes down to individual game wins. And so all those game fives actually come back to be a reward for you in the end with this format. Oh, weird altercation there as he breaks the armor with that string of Ermac. And we're already pressing buttons here, Mike. He's disrespecting with the wake up knees. And I, I don't think block is an option for either of these players right now. I haven't seen it one done. Yeah, and I like how you said um, those rounds, individual rounds can be, and matches can uh help you out if it's a if it's a high game and everything that's that's a lot of work that goes into it then to keep track of all that kind of stuff i i enjoy that and yeah wow okay go samurai he's no stranger to defeating champions so creaky can winning last week be 
be a negative for him because a lot of people when they become a champion they kind of get lazy they go out and drink and celebrate you know they don't care anymore why are you blowing um, me up like this mike <laughs> why <are> you <laughs> it's okay man i'm just saying can creepy x had he been studying because go samurai man um i'm a oh, fan of his, yeah i'm a fan of his shin off but he does use that secondary ermac which is a killer and he must know that this matchup is it's really difficult for Creaky X. But Creaky X, he doesn't mind playing the difficult matchups. He still won last week with Jax. Um, and and he, all he goes. And he overcame Ghost Samurai's uh, Shinnok. But I don't recall seeing this Mystic Ermac pick. And yeah, you're right. It's looking to be the problem. And I think it's Ghost Samurai that did the homework from last week. Kind of a mix of both. There's a bit of added pressure on the Creaky X to perform. And Ghost Samurai wanting vengeance. And that was the most disgusting anti-crossover. Hold on a second. They do exist here in MKX. The wake up push gonna reverse on Vorchin. And you know, no. He was off the ground. And it still hit him. Not like that, Mike. No, after the frames of that ground pound was crazy because you've seen him get off the ground, but when he was landing, he still got hit by it. So that's some crazy active frames uh, Ermac had. Um, yeah, watch. Yeah. Oh, right after the gorgeous anti cross up. Yeah, there, there you go. That's kind of a high risk, um, low reward situation. And I can't believe that it was still active and it hits that. High. Look at that. Oh. Wow. I'll get it on the frame. Look at this. Okay, boom. Oh, wow. I would have thrown up. Looks like he's still in the air and everything. Okay, yeah, go Samurai. He really wants it. He could he could taste it. And if he defeats Creaky X, he, he has a long road, but he can really do this. Um, it's amazing to see. He definitely put in the work. I love seeing, though, Creaky X, his anti-airs right now with the jabs. It's bringing me back to MK9 vibes. Um, just like those Scan 1 anti-airs. Amazing. Cool conversion. Yeah, Chax has a really similar style in this game. Just, just less reward in almost every situation than his MK9 counterpart. But similar stagger style. You know, billable staggering mids. It's exactly how he plays in MK11 too. There's a Jax archetype. And when you see it in motion... It's beautiful to watch. Oh, that's such a conversion. Yeah, Ghost Samurai is playing so damn solid. It is crazy right now. He is, does not want to go out like first round of top eight. He's like, I deserve this title. He said, the moment I beat freaking Cyclone, I deserved it. He has Ooh. not caught it yet. Took the big risk there, and I think that was an input error, unsure. This help is dwindling here. Sam Ryan makes a right read on the wake up dash punch, but doesn't get a conversion. Sometimes you put in those pokes to try to catch that dash punch, and he shuts down the amplified projectile. Sorry, EX projectile attempt there. And <clears throat> I think everything went wrong for Creaky X in 20 seconds straight for Ghost to get some momentum back after Creaky got something on the board. Yeah, Ghost Samurai just popping in this corner right now. He has all the answers for everything that Creaky X is doing. Ghost Samurai seems to have everything down again. Yeah. Puts Creepy oh. X back in the corner. If you remember last week, Mike, not a lot of people were interrupting that projectile and he was getting free plus frames off of it. And look at, yeah. lo, lo and behold, does one block right there. Blown up by the down one. Turn taken, healthily taken from Samurai. This is a nightmare scenario, but you know, you, you gotta get something going as long as he's got no meter. And this is a pretty good spot. Now you gotta, now you gotta respect push. And he disrespects it. Huge reward. Goes for the grab. Does he got him? 14% is enough and Creaky. Ties us up in a game of peace. That's kind of the story that we saw last week was he would he would be going back and forth and it was the comebacks after the corner carry. This was this is what we saw last week, start to end. And he's starting off week number four with the same style. Whew. Probably gonna have a heart attack by the end of the night. <laughs> Man, just Creaky X has been playing so solid. I'm I'm actually I could say that I'm surprised that even um, he can actually got one on the board because Ghost Samurai, the way he's just playing, he definitely studied. Um, and you can just see the high level play in both of these players, how good they are, because none of them are losing to what they lost to last week. They're, they're going in, they have the answers now, like you said. Um, Ghost Samurai, he has the answer for stopping um, Creaky Axe's uh, uh, fireball or projectile. Um, he's not allowing it, he's just checking him all the time. Um, but yeah, I remember freaking Ghost Samurai, always good with those down three. He just knows when to abuse them. 
doing an amazing job right now. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna go up to? It's hard. Both just we're we're seeing before our eyes the level of both of these players. Oh, there were so many mind games and the pressure that Creaky just put on display too and Samurai with the perfect patience. And he just checks with that forward three, safe on block. I think it's plus on block. Oh, that right there. That has been what Creaky Axe has had to guess behind every single touch so far from Ghost Samurai. He comes from downtown with those bullion metal arms. And look at that, every touch takes him to the corner here. And then it's guess for game. Grab. Yes. Oh. Creaky Axe saying, stop it, sir. You cornered me last game. Now it's my turn to have this corner game. It is all tied right now. Wait, Creaky Axe is in. He has two bars in mid. He could, he could decide to break. Nice blocks. Oh my Ooh, goodness. Oh, the bazooka the reversal. Says, get some. And he's fighting. He's scrapping for these victories. They whip punish with a down two. Oh, that was maddening. Yeah, and I remember last week, um, Creaky X, just one of the masters of knowing when to reversal and when to wake up um, every time. It, it barely seemed like people were blocking Creaky X's wake ups and stuff, because he just chose the right time when to do it. Um, and again, he's doing it again as we speak. Go Samurai. He is going down in health. He has the meter, though. He needs to stay in this. He doesn't want to go down two to one. He's snipping that title out. And he had tired again. That's going to be huge. Go Samurai not going to have a breaker until 24% of the damage was done. Rigax walking him down. That's a scary spot. Whip from Ghost doesn't go punished here. Nice block. That was a 50 50. And Creaky Axe with a solid defense of his own. Going to go up 2 1 here. And this has been a complete turnaround from that. Such control from game one. Creaky Axe has yeah. found those hits and he's making it. He's, he's making it worth it. Pain Off of the reward, the corner carry, the stagger pressure. He's getting it going right now. 2-1. Will we go to a sudden death? That's the ultimate question right now. And there have been so many game fives, and it went to a game five when they played earlier. This is a run back. Yeah, definitely seems like Ghost Samurai did his homework that first game. And just the adaptability of Creaky Axe, just to get on in there and... Um, Figure the opponent out. It is proving tough right now for Ghost Samurai, but he's no slouch, man. This is exactly what Creaky did to me as well. I went up a game and then he won two straight, and I was like, "What just happened?" This, I, I kid you not. This is exactly what he did to me earlier, guys. I, I took it to a game five and still got bopped. We'll see if Ghost Samurai can do the same here. Yeah, maybe he plays that first match, and then when he loses, he gives it to his big brother, and, uh, and he plays. Who knows? But here we go, okay. Go Samurai, say no, sir. He's, he wants that title. Kreekiak rubbing the title over his shoulder, kissing it, saying, I'm the weak three Coliseum champion, sir. He's not going to take it from me. He wants to be the double champ. Okay, Ooh, go Samurai. Miss, go Samurai, missed the, me miss the meter build, dropped the combo, but those forward threes, I think it's the forward three input of Ermag right there, that, that forward stepping kick. It's, it's a, it's a one-stop shop. For anything you need here in MKX. Nice mix up with the low. And any touch here in the push. Something. This is ugly. That was a mash fest here in 2021. <laughs> and then the wake up that one. <laughs> oh, that could have yes. been scary. Okay, go Samurai turning it up. Looking really good right now. He is in the corner and he doesn't have any meter. Freaky X has a full stick of butter to work with and he has his man in the corner. If he gets one combo, it could spell death. You're gonna see Go Samurai's health dwindle like crazy. Right now he's chipping away at it slowly, keeping Ghost Samurai in the corner. Plus Whoa! Let him let him whip some down threes, but he finally falls for it after the second one and a clutch block from Samurai. Gonna have a big punish. Gets the meter build too. With the ensnare blast. Yep. Pretty a side switch. You can put some quarter pressure on Creaky here. Tries to meet with the headbutt. Plus frames. Disrespected by the reversal bazooka D. Who does that? Who thinks to do that? Creaky acts and comes to the gotcha grab on the sneaky low. Removal here for him. Scary spot. You have to respect the poke check. I think that's a plus one right there, Mike. Scary situation. And what did the funnel? He, he just did it. Left Aquaman speechless. He spaced out that x-ray so perfectly. And he gets the round for it. But hey, it's okay. That's okay. Ghost Samurai probably wants that because now he has three bars of Mita. He has three bars of Mita. <laughs> that, little, that little toasty real quick, Aquaman. Um, but yeah, this is looking really good right now. Ghost Samurai, he has a full secret bar. Freaky X with nothing right now. 
and he's in the corner. This is looking really tough. How is he gonna make it out of this? No way. Oh, he's, he's facing a fully held Ermac and plus frames in the corner. Waits for his turn after the poke. And go Samurai. Gonna go with the back dash right there. Okay, can we get some advantage? This nice patience in there. Baited out the, the the meter, but he still has to worry about one more, and this is still a really bad scenario. That looked like it might have been a punish. Gotta worry about two more pushes now on, on the knockdown and no meter to back up your pressure. The overhead's gonna do it alone on hit, and we're gonna go to a sudden death right out of the gate, wow. Mike. It's as if it was meant to be between these two. Yes, sir. Now, I am excited because they both have something to prove. First of all, we have Ghost Samurai, the, the man that always defeats the Coliseum champions. And we have Creaky Axe. He's the one that wants to defeat this man. He wants to be the yes. double champion. Both of these, out of anyone I think in top eight, are sweating the most. They both have something they could they have a, a goal to reach right now. Yeah, there's so much prestige on the line. Man, only one can move on from this? Only Great. one and it's a sudden death. If you guys are unfamiliar, with our format this is single elimination here in top eight it's win or go home points on the line for the knights and money on the line for the entire season 232 dollars already raised for the finale if you guys like what you see donate to the prize pool this is going to be towards that 16 player finale that's what they're earning points for for these weeks and our viewing pleasure yeah and something i noticed that last round that it just like made me realize with um, uh, MKX to MK11 was we see when um, Ghost Samurai he does his combo and then he jumps up into meter build. I realized that was one of the fun things I respected about MKX was like while you're doing your combo you randomly will throw out like a rune or, 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 or jump in fireball just to get the meter. Not even to hit yes. your opponent with the combo but just to get the meter and that was you don't see that in MK11. Man, just... I used to I used to lose whole rounds not blocking just so I'd have the meter lead in the final round. Oh, exactly. and that was so active on its 700th active frame. Clips Creaky's jump and it gives Go Samurai his first lead in a long time in this set. Yeah, and um, just like you were saying about accepting when you're about to lose and just you'd rather take the hit and get some meter rather than blocking and taking the chip and giving your opponent meter for the next round. Yeah, that's the, so that's the savagery of this game is that the more you block, the better it was for your opponent. Yeah, there was so much like different strategy with this game. Um, yeah, it's such, such an art form, man. And I'm so happy to see it uh, making its return with the uh, Coliseum. And with these two players right now, jeez. We have Freaky X right now. He's up in health. Oh, yeah. Exactly oh, yeah, we're about exactly even. Got him with the scoops. That's 14%. And let it rip with the overhead. Oh, my goodness. That could have gotten him killed. And instead, he's going to put him on the board. They got you. Grab chips out. And Ermac didn't even know what to do. Sudden death. Final round. This is it. Who is going to move on? Uh -huh. Okay. It's looking good right now. Throw Samurai wants this. This is the toughest match, I would say, in the bracket. What an anti-air. That was like, disgusting. Yeah. Man. Shut the ground pound this. down. Has to worry about two bars of meter and go Samurai. What a counter read. He thought that Creepy was going to respect wake up push until he woke up buttons instead. That's a mind game on top of a mind game. This isn't the worst scenario for Creepy X. We're about even on health. He doesn't have to worry about a bar unless he gets the hit. Here for go Samurai or blocks. A bit too much. That's a plus frames. Oh, got it, but. Jumps at this time. Not enough recovery frames for the punish. The over commits on the overhead. This is going to be some big damage in meter build. Oh, it's a tough spot here. Go Samurai can get some health back too if he truly wants to. Going to save the bar for the armor. Any push right now. Going to steal the job. Almost got to get there. Mike hold me. Oh, the push oh going to stop the bazooka. Me and... Oh, is that a faction kill? I heard kill him and the scythe. Wow, so Ghost Samurai goes up, he does it, defeats the man that defeats the champions. Getting vengeance for all last week's cha or all the champions before last week. Man, Ghost Samurai going up. Can he take it though? You know he's here. As excited as he is to, to beat Creaky X, there's a long road ahead of him. And you know how badly he wants one of those titles. He deserved it week after week. He believes he can do it this time. That was awesome. And a game five to start us off. Sudden death between those two. It was just like it was 
in the pool play just like it was last time on stream i think in that first of five went down to the wire too or first of three that they played last week um they may have met in round one as well man they're getting we got ourselves a nice little uh rivalry going on creaky axe in chat saying that he's gonna get him next time i like that there's that competitive edge and yes creaky axe has always had that fire in him always they'd be good training partners man if they trained together they'd be killing everyone else um man so so ghost samurai defeats creaky x meaning he's defeated two coliseum champions he's the call he's the he's the coliseum champion slayer in cyclone and now creaky x um stopping creaky x from being a double champion but we have t seed my favorite i'm the biggest fan of t seed and tony jawbreaker the norcal brother the sub-zero there's a lot to look forward to tc man his execution so high level you got the johnny cage you got a couple other characters we're gonna see some high execution with these two saving with tony jawbreaker i want to say that he played a, a, a lot of a couple different characters uh but has been rocking that sub-zero and multiple variations of sub-zero was rocking unbreakable um when i saw him playing earlier today we'll see if it's gonna be potential unbreakable versus johnny unbreakable versus uh versus lasher i don't know what would be more annoying um for him in that but we'll we'll see what goes down here second match of the night guys if you're unfamiliar with the format players play in matchmaking format which is like combat league but competitive it's a two and a half hour window and you queue for matches the entire time top eight in standings after that time play in top eight on stream single elimination and there is a little bit of a surprise semifinals is first to five grand finals first to seven and so here in round one, first to three, and it's single elimination. I definitely put Tony G Breaker. My bad on that. May I help you? My bad, oh, Tony. Man. Ooh, Ooh. reptile? You, I'm what? Round this wasn't what we expected at all. Hold on, I've been lied to. I want my ticket back. What is what is going on right now? Hey, I love it all the same. Uh, I can't, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I can't even keep up what's going on right now. Reptile just did 700 dashes and he tried to parry it. What in the world? Slows down time and went for the robbery of Rob's. Oh, he slid again. No punish on it. And what is happening right now? Mike, I'm too old for this. <laughs> not just yet. Not just yet. This is wild. They are going crazy with both of these characters. It's like no time Woo! to breathe. Wait, that was, that was kind of hot for 40% right there. Gets the hard knockdown. Build some meter. Oh, the full screen. Seven Framer tried to reflect it, and he was barely off. That it could have given TC something to try to rob that uh, round with before Tony Jawbreaker had the meter. Well, the meter to break it. Oh, that whip just made me choke. Oh, man pops. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, TC, man, his reptile did work that first week, um, and it's back to play. And now we have Tony Jawbreaker. I'm always a fan of the Ken He got balanced up in play right now. And okay. Got some spacing, trying to find his way. TC just goes crazy. Now I remember why I'm such a fan of him. He just goes berserk. Oh, that was utterly disgusting. The speed of this man. Somebody stop him. <laughs> He's playing at a different speed that I can keep up with to comprehend, to get a thought change. on, to say something on commentary. Cyclone joining us in the chat. Cyclone, where have you been, buddy? We've been dying to know. Cyclone, come on, man. What's going on? We need your hypeness. Oh, and there's the unbreakable, sexy, one of the sexiest skins right there. The Cold Steel? The Cold yeah. Steel? Ooh, this is what funded esports back in the day. Yes, that is amazing to know. Like, before esports got to where it's at, I used to imagine, like, man, I wish, like, the actual game companies would maybe, like, in the instruction booklet, maybe talk about Evo or something like that, promote it. And now it's actually happening with the costumes with people that don't know. MKX, they put out these costumes and all the proceeds went to tournaments, like, to actually fund tournaments. That is crazy to hear about that they do that. Yes. Kind of stuff and, and it was such a gorgeous skin. Look at this thing. It's sleek. It's sexy. Oh. Man, T-Seed is not letting Tony... T I am now speechless. <laughs> I thought the audio cut out. I was like... No. Oh. I honestly didn't know what to say. He just did dash up down two on Sub-Zero. Like... 
But Force it made a read on a parry to Jawbreaker trying anything defensively to, to, to hit T Seed at all. And everything that's happened raw from T Seed has just hit him. Outright that hit behind him. This is this should be a war crime. Yeah, this is disgusting what I'm seeing right now. It's wild, it's crazy, it's how Reptile should be playing. To the fact Ooh. that Tizi is uh, putting the work on Tony Jawbreaker right now is crazy because Tony Jawbreaker is no slouch with the Sub Zero. People hear legends of his of his um, Sub Zero. Oh. Look, did you see that conversion? Oh my goodness! I've from never downtown. seen that. I've never seen that either. That was ridiculous. Okay. All right. Okay. You know what? Let's just look at it again. Oh Abs my gosh! Absolutely. Give that one back to me. That's a sexy whiff punish. And this is where Tony Jawbreaker swagged out a little bit on us. Look at this conversion. Ooh, that looked tight. For 36, not bad. And then TC. Jeez. That right there is broken. I've never, ever seen a reptile do that tongue um, string into the low slide because they already know that the opponent knows to block it and interrupt. And that, that conversion was just... So you did over it standing four for. into spit spit. Slide, slide, what? First he did back forward two to run in, then he slid, hit him, slid again, like what? That has to be one of his combos he made us. That is wild. I'm, I'm gonna be surprised if he made, he made that up on the fly. Right there, you can do stuff like that in MKX, you can figure things out like that as well. Oh, disrespectful wake up. Slide right back at you. Says Tony Jawbreaker. Oh, that's some big damage, even for a single hit. Into that Oro. This could be a conversion. Man, he's so clean with them. I say that as he drops at the commentator's curse. But what a lead. Or Breaker actually got TC to chill for a moment. No pun intended on the Sub Zero pick, and he gave him something to reverse. So maybe that's what TC was looking for. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, this is the comeback mechanic we're talking about. It's not even a mechanic, it's just the, the rush down of the game. Okay, Tony Jawbreaker says, no sir, not this time. He's playing more patient, he's conserving his energy, he's looking good. Although TC put on a dominating performance those last two matches, Tony Jawbreaker is looking really good right now. Ooh, clutch block on the slide, and that's gonna save him a lot of pain, and that's, I can't believe he's doing it multiple times. I would get hit by that every time, Mike. Oh yeah, I am, I am no, uh, Stranger to not blocking. It's, <laughs> it's hard to want to in this game. It's scary. What were we were talking about? Blocking gives your opponent meter. Why would you even want to do it ever? Exactly. You want the meter. Be greedy in this game. <laughs> right now, okay. Funny job right here. Looking a lot better. His composure. Slowing the oh. match down. Nice wake up parry right there. Parry's lows, which is kind of unconventional for a parry there. Trying to max this is the one, too. See if we can get the launch. This is still going to be some huge damage. Oh, my goodness. 40% reloads the aura. And now he's, he, 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 has a, he has a threat of parry. Ah, oh, safer, more pushback on that. But still disrespected. Like TC loves those quick cancels off of the forward four. And Tony Jawbreaker putting on a performance this match. As in just like what uh, T Seed was doing those last Sub -Zero matches. Wins. Tony Jawbreaker saying, here's a little vengeance with that slide. Both of these characters Pay have slides respects. since MK2. Actually, Sub Zero had it in MK1. There is a new king. But yeah, man. Okay, Tony Jawbreaker. He said, I ain't going out like that. No 3 0, sir. Mm -mm, not today. Not today. And it's been, it's been a while since I've seen him competing in general. So this has got me pretty excited. Yes, and I, I'm really excited because they're both picking classic outfits, and I always respect the classic outfits. Where's that Cold War Sub Zero at? That, that thing was pretty sexy, too. Yeah, man, NRS just knows how to make some great costumes, dude. And here we go. What's Whoa. it gonna be? DC. I'm your fanboy. I wanna see you move on, but Tony Jawbreaker, the NorCal brother, if he deserves it, go oh, get it, man. Letting everything rip his T seed right now. Nice breaker to keep the corner pressure on. <gasps> that was disgusting. Just abuse him with the pokes and the jump back from Tony Jumper. He knew what was coming. He knew T seed wanted out of that corner. He's going to be holding that today. A lot of meter on the board. Nice armor reversal. That's a nice setup that Tony Jumper likes to do on block. I talked about that forward four aura load. Guess time. 
Nothing but safety. See, let's pick up the slide. Ooh, from downtown, the back two. Rare to see because he's afraid that Reptile's reversal, you know, such a quick punish, an easy punish for him that gets him out of the corner. Bit of a risk there. And right now we're all tied up. Basically, no meter for both characters. I like TC, even though he's in the corner, he's like, I'm gonna just gonna stop you with your <gasps> acid balls. Oh my gosh. Round two. TC Fight. in the building, holding it down. He was in that corner that whole game and he still managed to win it. How do you do that? Oh my goodness, he just converted that down three anti air into the back two. But dropped it and Tony Jawbreaker to wake up. Oh, Perry. Nothing working right now for him. Is he going to get the conversion this time? The down twos have been there 50 50 for him. Wake up slide because into or it's the armored launcher. Hold on a second. Breaking the rules of MKX and Sub Zero right now. And he tried to do that one two from downtown again. <gasps> Even after the whiff. No recovery from Sub. Or sorry, from Reptile. Safety and reads him with the parry. This is huge, Mike. Not going to be enough, but what's the mix? Are we going to guess right or wrong? What's going to be high or low? Ooh. None. It's a mid. That it was stop him. so smart to put a single input like that. That had a big hitbox and actually caught him. Whoa, the claw hit behind ripped out the claw. And Tony Jawbreaker surviving right now. It is in slow motion and nice block. Oh, he gets the hit. Backed up crit guard. Ooh, okay. That's the tighter link to go for too. My man just swagged out on us. Waits out the wake up. It's a hit and look at that damage. Was able to get the full conversion. Tony Jawbreaker on the verge of bringing this back, but changing time and spaces. Reptile down three slide. The disrespect by Tony Jawbreaker. And he gets hit by the sneaky low. All that conditioning from TC that's just paid off, Mike. I love seeing that uh, UMK3 combo, the Reptile combo back and forth. That looks so sexy. Right now, geez, they're all tied up. Tony Jawbreaker, though, he needs to win this match. What's it gonna be? His <gasps> spacing is phenomenal. Oh, he has to sweat so much, it's not gonna be enough. If he had it, he had the whole world in his hands, but he didn't have enough stamina to convert fully off of that back two. Without stamina, his only option was a slide right there, and then guess on wake up. Because he didn't have the stamina, he tried to do his run up forward two forward slide to be enough for the kill. That came down to one little decision right there. Man, all these players deserve this top eight. You always see like Tony Jawbreaker, he was getting annihilated. And then he comes back, he works it, he doesn't let that, you know, scare him at all or anything like that. And it's just amazing to see these players, how how they just level up so quickly each, each match, each round. Man, but TC, I'm becoming a fanboy of him every match he plays. Every time. Every character. He's been at the highest possible level, and it looks like he's having a good time out there. Oh, match. Oh, man. And now we got a real match. Freaking Shujinki Dink. Always love to see the Quan Chi at play, man. Always love it. And Sunio? Jesus. And you said this is a battle of zoners. Usually you love to see the art form of a zoner going against a rushdown. You guys are gonna possibly see some just wildness with two zoning characters. Yeah, hold Man, on. It, it, this, hold is, on. This, this is about to be a good time. Because guys, uh, think about it. Two zoners, single limb, one of them's dying right now. Yes, and with zoning, we're probably gonna have a good funny time watching them, but they might not be having a good time while they're zoning. It's gonna be interesting. We'll see what happens. Let me tell you, I was so impressed by Dink zoning earlier. I think he flawlessed me three times in our set. Jeez. Every time I, every time I made a mistake, didn't have meter, and got pull, put full screen, he did not allow me to play MKX with his decisions and zoning. It was it was phenomenal. Yeah, it could be tough for Kotokan. I always enjoyed fighting Kotokan because you could just zone, and um, it's hard for him to get in. It is. And, yeah, and sending with Sunio, he was rocking Reptile earlier, but I know him for Mournful Katana. We'll see what the pick's going to be here. Yeah, what's going to be? Oh, man. And it is Katana. Oh, my jeez. She was one of the characters that when I was playing Quan Chi at Zoning, it was always so hard. I didn't I didn't know if I should pick Summoner or Sorcerer. Um, it was just one of those unusual characters. I was like, does she beat me in Zoning? Do I beat her? I'm not sure. Maybe it's even. 
Um, she could just check you with those instant air fans. So it's so scary to try to get your bat out. Yeah, and, and you gotta worry about multiple overheads on jumpins, meter build galore. Yeah. Crazy pressure that she can get off a full screen. Look at that, and then look at the meter that she built. Here's another one. Could have done the double overhead that launches as well and is safe. I think I think it's safe on block. I I, I, I could be wrong on that. I assume that she's never punishable. I'm just so curious to see how Dean is gonna get that bat out without um without him getting checked. It's looking good so far. Oh, that converted, but Luka wasn't ready for it. Sudio, what a marvelous setup where he was he was committed to the uh, jump and pressure and still converted on the hit. That's a nice setup. Speaking of nice setup, are we finally see Puggles? No, he loses out on the knockdown. That's huge. Oh, and even huger was that being too high for what would have been a great situation for Quan Chi. Wow, perfect jump in by by Shujinki Ding. Oh, but the air to air. Now he gets the run in. Yep. I don't think there was anything he could have done about that to avoid the chip. Beautiful round by Sunio. And there you see it. That that's going to be the problem. Not, not much Quan Chi can do about the character that's going to be in the top uh, opposite corner from him. Only has the down skull. Only has a straight skull and room. That's only covering so much of the screen and just domination from Sunio right now. Now it's the pressure. Yeah. The, the moment you know to just, just pressure Quan Chi, he cannot really. He doesn't have a wake up, so you just get free pressure all day. Um, this is the thing he needs. You think he needs? Need to get the trance and just mix, 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 mix all day. <gasps> the jumping, did you see how far that was? That was ridiculous. Uh, looked like the top oh, of the system. He blocked block like 17 mix ups right there. Are you what? kidding me? Are you kidding? No, no, not the thunder bags. Wow, I cannot believe he blocked that. This guy should play Marvel blocking that much. What was it? Was it right here? It was at the end, basically. Um, I think that he does the... Uh... He drops it there. No, it's still... Yeah, it's Man, around it... here. No. no. Oh, he had the breaker. That's right. They're right here, yeah. Yeah, the miracle jumping. Yeah. And then he went for the Ooh, knockdown. Wow. Puggle time. Went for the setup. Okay. Incredible. Wow. Overhead, Jeez. low overhead. And now we've got an even crazier surprise on the screen for us. Dang, that's a clutch block. He needed that block for sure. Look at this surprise that we see on the screen. I don't think anyone's ready for this. No one oh, in chat. Y'all could have put money on the line and have been wrong. I'm going to let you know that right now. No one. No one knows this character even exists. Pretty lady. What? Let their face. What is this man doing? Pretty lady. Let their face. Hey, he's still a zoner. He loves to have zoning characters. I respect it. Has the same projectile she does, but Sunio hasn't feared him from pressing a button. Gorgeous combo there for 32. And when is it your turn ever going to be? There's something. Yeah, that, that projectile is working out for him a little more, it seems. It's tough still. Yeah. Sunio is just... Katana, it just he knows the exact basis of everything. He knows where to hit you, where you're safe, where you're not. This man is studying the game. And in this situation, that was gorgeous. He realizes why he picked Pretty Lady and what options that character might have. Maybe he has some experience. Because he knows that he actually has options. Dude, that thing is fucking huge. <laughs> I forgot how big that one was. But these chainsaws has the ability to cover that spot I was talking about being problematic for Quan Chi. It's just, what else does Pretty Lady do outside of that? I don't even know. Yeah, I think um, Sunio just seems to know the matchup. Do you think he thinks he's trying to go for a surprise here or something? I'm not sure, but I believe it is Quan Chi. He just needs to get the hit. He needs to get the trance and just mix up. Even though Sunio did such a great job blocking Quan Chi, you can't block him forever. He should go back to Quan Chi. No, you cannot. He he just got the zoning going, but without the health lead, it looked like it wasn't worth it. Yeah, he needs to go back to his summoner, and I believe in his, his mix-ups. He can do it, you know. Of course, Sunio's gonna block a couple of times. He's he's godlike. He's really godlike. But 
I know Shujinki Dink has the mix-ups, you know, it might be a little tough. He has to make it dirty. He can't typically zone with Quan Chi against this katana. But once he gets that hit, he got to mix. What's Shujinki Dink feel? How's he feeling? Yep, okay. Oh, it is, and it is the sorcerer pick. Okay. Very interesting now. And yes, you should always have, if you're a Quan Chi player, you should always have at least a back pocket sorcerer. It's so good. It, because it doesn't matter what happens if you hit someone in the corner with a 1-4-1 one, one one, and summon that five. pit, baby. That's the way I think about it anyway. Oh, they hate it. Look at that. Quan Chi, okay. this, is, this is literally rich homie Quan Chi. He's just in a money pit, big chilling. See the difficulty right now. Oh, that is unfortunate. Trying to get a summon there, and Sunio with the pre call out of the Amplified Glaive that gets him a combo. He got 33% for that one decision. And now, without that meter, without the hit and corner, what's Stink gonna do? Sunio's air to air has just been so good. He's like 10 for 10. Every time they both jump, Sunio just knows how to get in. Uh oh. Okay, this could be the Shujinki Dink's round. He got the full combo. Okay, I like what I see. Oh, he dropped it. no! That would have been everything enough. That's gonna be punishable, but he let a he low rip on reversal. Wow. Whoa, Quan Chi, that was a good voice name. He got so lucky with that one, because he can't be dropping them combos right now. This is crucial. You want to get Sunio's katana? The hits are hard enough to be getting on him. Is he gonna jump over? He jumped over. Beautiful by Sujinki Dink. I agree with that. Yes, has him in the corner now. This oh, the one, one of the few answers for it there, Mike. One of the yep. few. It hits multiple times. So, you know, he got to bait that wake up a little more. He got to know that um, Sunio wants to do it. What? And the back gas? Ooh, that, that was some technology. And he even did like a little, um, a little flash parry with the pit as well on one of those projectiles. But again. Shujinki Dink's a little uncomfortable zoning um, Katana in this matchup. Has... Oh wow, the trance, the EX trance goes full screen. He got the full combo. He's gonna portal up again. What? Ooh! He uses the meter. Okay. Is he gonna be good enough though? I love the back dashing through that. That's amazing. <gasps> mm, I'm shocked that Dink hasn't attempted some reactionary sky drops when he sees Katana jump backwards. I wonder if he's just afraid that, that the Glaive is going to hit it anyway. You know what? You might have cracked the code. Okay. He's trying to work something right now. It's being a little difficult. He, his conversions, it's been a little rough, you know, trying to get in on it. They're both fighting meter. He's still looking good. He just, he's the glass cannon, you know? He has to be working it. Exactly. What? No. I've never no. seen a cross up anti air. Cross up anti air stand three. That was beautiful. What in the hitbox was that? Okay, he's portaled up. Okay, oh, wait. Outside of it. That was a gorgeous yeah. trance from downtown. Gonna get the full hit. Tough spot. We're gonna stop this. No, he missed the pit, but he's able to perfectly time okay. the rune on Midi and Shoo Chinky Dick, the Quan Father. Yeah, he is doing a good job, Sorcerer. Smart pick. I agree with it. <laughs> that laugh is something else. Iconic. Pay your respects. What? And Grim Jing, he has the Quan Chi uh, emote oh, right there. That's pretty great. That. I haven't seen much Quan Chi emotes. There needs to be more of those. Quan Chi. Man, I really do uh, hope Evo comes back next year, man. And I wonder what NRS game will be in it. I'd love to see it make its return. Um, seeing just tournaments come back. Hey, Sewer Rat 92 posting some uh, another Quan Chi emote. Nice. Yeah. If you guys Quan have a Chi Quan Chi emote, emote, put it in the chat, please. Put it in the chat. Um, yeah, man. Hope these offline tournaments be making a return. They're sl they slowly are. CEO just announced their return um, for the summer as well. That's amazing. Yeah, and uh, Rick from Combo Breaker. What the hell? That's that summoned so fast. He tweeted that everything was looking a go for Combo Breaker in 2022 as well. 
that's amazing to hear. Yes, we need those tournaments back, you know? And right now, Sunio has to be getting in the corner. Uh, not allowing That too was Jesus. disgusting. Anti crossover wake up. Down three, 31%, and now he is in the best possible situation for almost any character in this game. And that was smart by Sujinki Ding for oh. uh, baiting the wake up because he doesn't want to get hit by it while his portal's out. Oh, it's still coming back? So difficult. As annoying as Quan Chi's zoning is, freaking Sunio, man, with his zoning, is not allowing you to do much. It's frustration right now. Ooh, what a round from Dink to stay alive, though. And he left, he robbed this man in broad daylight with a double akimbo Uzi and left him without any meter. With that purple uh, rune, ended up being huge for him. Plus yeah, frame, some delay. Oh! Jinky Dink getting resurrected from hell, from the nether realm. Um, it looked like it was basically over for him. But for him to just bring it back, and now he's looking super good. Junio's the one in trouble. These down three conversions are making me feel a certain way right now. No overcommitment, too. That was a little block confirmation. Really smart stuff by Dink. And Dink doing such a great job at mid range. He has been connecting with everything. Look at that. I feel like he has the answer now for when to do the jump in skull. Oh, that's going to be GG's right there. And from the brink, or dare I say, from the dink of death. <laughs> Coming and back we... two straight games and we're going to another sudden death. All tied up. This is amazing. Dink kept it together. Just repping the Quan. Gotta love to see it. I hope we get a Quan Chi in a grand final. Boy, this was a little bit of a surprise out of nowhere. It was utter domination once more, and that's been the story of the night. Utter domination in the beginning of these games and then the turnarounds. Yeah, that's why these players are in top eight. Their, their way to it just adapt is unprecedented. It seemed like they play one way, and then they're totally a new player. They went Super Saiyan, and now they're just playing a totally different way. It's great. You need to adapt in games. It's just like... Like the saying goes, you can't just have one move, you can't be a one-trick pony. Once that move stops working, what are you going to have? You need to adapt, you need to overcome. And these players right now are doing such that. Will Sunio win, or will Shujinkidi? Who's going to adapt a little better? It all comes down to this. Right now, Sunio looking good. He says, I do not fear zoning still. Jinky Dink just cannot let him get a touch. And Boomerang. Jeez, and Sunio being just a little more aggressive now. I like what I see. Sunio is not just going for the zoning. He's knowing when to go in. Look at the spacing with the kick. He has everything down right now. Ooh. He is being pressured. He just danced around everything. What a situation. And Dink with a beautiful interruption. Get something going. If you'd have heard off that, I would have cried on the inside. Sunio Savage levels approaching over 9,000 as he almost flawlesses him to start this sudden death. And this is still round one. Holy crap, tonight is insane. Yeah, just like game after game, no 3 0s. Everyone's here to play. They've been practicing. I think the Coliseum has gave them a reason to just practice just those cobwebs off. And they're all playing at a high level now. We want to get that victory. Need those points, man. What have you done to these addicts? We gave them a platform to play Mortal Kombat X, and that's what they came to do, and at an incredible level. Okay, I'd love to see it. Okay. Dinky Dink is now the one trying to get in. Because Sunio is now the one to be zoning. Dink was zoning that other game, and now Sunio's doing the zoning. Like, he just, he just changed up a little bit of the game plan. Yeah, the spacing with those jump in air to air. Oh, took his meter with this one. And he's going to get another room right here. And the pressure. That's going to be the round, and Dink is going to steal this one. Unless he goes with the purple. No, he's, he's, he's going to guarantee it. Not going to do any funny business. Final game, final round. Who do you guys like here, Sudio or the Quan Father himself? Shujinki Dink. Be, oh my goodness, it's like Dink has just went on a, a rampage of chasing right now. Sunio's game plan is just working. He's making Dink flustered. 
making him what it takes, but man, even with this portal, taking away the meter, Studio has zero meter, you never see that. Yeah. This is crazy. Dink was giving, uh, giving him a taste of his own medicine. Medicine, oh, having this health deficit gets to air to air. Is there enough time for another one? Oh, pulls out the meter again, and he's denying him everything in this final round. This pick, the Sorcerer, where has it been all of our lives? Yeah, Sorcerer at the end of the game is like tournament life, um, offline tournament life. Um, people just were hating on Sorcerer. We thought Summoner was the one, but man, Sorcerer proving the victor, and Dink moves on. I like what I see, okay, D? Hey, yeah, just... styled on him there at the end. Dink with the comeback. Are you guys kidding me? Three to two. Wow, and it just goes to show like the match of the moment MKX, like NRS made MKX and had the very, this is the first game that the variations came into play. It's amazing to see. You could pick the same character and play differently with the variation. I love that. And MKX did a perfect job at that at doing variations. That was ridiculous. That was freaking ridiculous. Dink. Yeah, good Dude, job to Dink. Actually, both of them. I was going to say Dink is doing it for the for the old people, but Sunio's like 36 as well. Like, like those are both wow. OG veterans. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a preview. Because Sunio gets the most hate, uh, hate comments on YouTube, we decided to bring him on for an interview on our podcast. That's going to come out in a couple of weeks, so you guys will get to know Sunio a little bit better. And one thing I didn't know, Mike, and this might surprise you, he had been around since MK9. He traveled to offline events for MK9, and no one knew like his name back then, and he didn't play Injustice 1. But we actually went to the same first Mortal Kombat 9 event. It was 2012 NEC. It was Sonic Fox's first tournament too, but Sunio was there. That's how far back he goes. And that really did surprise me, getting a conversation with him. It was really cool. Yeah, man. I'd have to see his face. I recognize faces. Um, but geez, man. So Sunio was, it seemed like he was dominating. And for Dink to just say, I'm picking a different variation. And it it worked out. That, that's amazing. Now I know who to pick uh, against Katana. Yeah, the meter management at the end was like watching art. It was like watching an artist paint with a brush on the screen. Yeah, the, the meter, not only the meter management, but the way Dink used the portal to manage his enemy's meter was uh, something to uh, behold. I loved that, seeing that. You don't see it much. You usually see the Quan Chi's pick the armor por portal most of the time. Yeah. Um, but Dink relies heavily on it. It does, you're able to recover faster when you put out the purple armor. Um, that was some great stuff, man. As a reminder, if you guys like what you see, if you want to get involved yourself, I see Smash in the chat. Sign up for this every single Saturday. Matches begin at 4 o'clock Eastern to 6.30 Eastern. And then if you make top 8, you play on stream at 7. There is no downtime. There's no DQs. There's no rounds. You show up and you, and you look for a match. You play that match. And then when you're done, you look for another match. That's it. You do that for two and a half hours. You make top eight, you play here on stream, and it's gonna be a Molina off. Oh no. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and Molina, you're just gonna see I don't even know like how to describe this matchup. You're gonna just see everything on the screen everywhere. Zoning, rush down, just craziness. They're gonna be waking up all over the place. Cat tires with the ball roll. Oh my goodness. And you're easily they pick the same costume you're easily gonna forget who's who they're gonna be all over with the teleporting they're gonna yeah, be this is, up a lot. the fact that it's an ethereal mirror makes this maybe a little bit grosser whoa in that wake up teleport man you always got to be thinking every time you pressure and are pressured by this character wake up bro that's a taste of her own medicine it looked like a down three got low profiled right there and an un anti airable jump one even a tall order for Molina is active starts to bring this back looks for the throw but it was on the wrong side and still got the punish while she was in the ethereal form of the dagger active brought that back from a proverbial grave here in the first round yeah and active saying i see you crowley last week i picked up what you're doing i got you sir he wants to prove he's the Molina of the coliseum 
And since we've been messing with that was a weird, weird interaction. Ever since we've been messing with Mortal Kombat 9 here on the Coliseum with uh, Parsec and great ways of playing it online, Active's been playing a lot with us, and he's got a really, really good cabal and multiple characters in Mortal Kombat 9 as well. A lot of OGs, a, a lot of old heads. What in the fuck? Wait, what? What? No, what? 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 I've never seen that. I don't know. Have you ever seen that? No. What the oh, fuck? What was that? Lena, what Lena. was what was that? Well, chat. What was that? Tell me what that was, so I can believe Pay it. Because I don't believe it. Has anyone ever seen that chat? We have not. That is crazy to get that instant air jump like that. And he got me on that. Two, three. three. One more time. One what? more time. One more time. One more time. Oh. oh. Beautiful and perfect. That was perfect combo to kill him. That Jeez. that made me feel a certain way. That made me feel a certain way. That looked like Ares from Injustice One. Comboing off of teleports on it. Oh wait, mistake for active up 1-0, and I feel like we just got styled on, guys. I don't know about you, but I feel like I need a cigarette and a shot of rum and coke after what I was just put through. Woo! <laughs> Wow, both of these players, man, like the Molina experts. And after that scene, that round, definitely Molina experts. Can't imagine what what else do they have? Like I said, we're gonna see some wild stuff, stuff we've never seen before. This is MKX. There's still hidden treasures to be Oh, the raw roll active. Is I will say he's <clears throat> playing but feeling comfortable. If he's making reads like that with raw roll, they're working out a lot. He just needs his own. Not even a teleport. He has taken a lot of risks. Stop it. Stop it with these swag combos. I'm just kidding. Keep doing them. 38% wow. for the single bar. Yeah, like, Crowley was a devastating Molina these the last week. And to see what Ak is doing, if he moves on, a lot of people have to fear this man. He's doing some wild stuff with Molina. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to use it, but he'll go. Jeez. There goes your leg. Active looking so solid. I keep getting confused. Like, wait, is it oh, active same or is it? Every, <laughs> every single time I look at the characters, but active. Everyone being put on notice right now because Crowley was the one to fear in this bracket going into this week. And lo and behold, active showing up going, hold on a second. You want to see something? I mean, we saw it. I'll show it to you guys again. It was so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, it, I'm gonna do it again. That's how good this was. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. When you see combos like that, man, it's like Beautiful. this man labs combos a lot to be doing stuff like Round that. One. Yeah, sewer rat saying, dude, this Melina. Guys, have you seen something like this? I'm showing another level to the game. <laughs> After I'm, saying I'm the Melina. It's skipped to my loo. <laughs> In chat says it's refreshing to see Melina get caught trying to anti-air. But it's Melina <laughs> doing the anti-air. And, and I, I think the same thing. I'm like, oh, look. Melina got body try, trying to anti-air. Because it's Melina. <laughs> There's always a... She's a wild beast. Oh. That was just good spacing. Max distance, that normal. Ooh. Overcommitted. Crowley finally wake up teleport working. It's 32. Yeah, does oh. Crowley have an answer to this Melina? Melina is showing some revolutionary stuff. Okay. He's active, man. He's just... Oof. This is craziness. Crowley getting but... a little too carried away with those wake up teleports. He's gotten burned for him more times than not. And would you look at this? I mean, are we about to see the same combo? But this is the Coliseum, and you know, like as much as Crowley's getting boxed, all these players adapt so well, and I wouldn't be surprised if Crowley comes back to you. Okay. Not gonna spend any bar. I think he's gonna try to swag out on us. That was meterless forty-one. What is this guy? Oh, Who he might be going man? for the X-ray kill. Anything, anything on blocking the X-ray right now? Telly kick. There's a beautiful anti-air, Crowley. 
Yes, the weather. One large storm right now. It's Melina fully loaded. Who invited this man to the party? Oh yeah, no! I... There it is. Oh no! Oh, Style died again. again. Active, you savage, yes. savage man. Melina wins. If you weren't playing Melina, I, you'd get some props right now. Pay your I'm just kidding. I love you, man. That was awesome. That was awesome. Wow. And, oh wait, MK active. Hold on, hold He's on. He's putting switch. a stamp on the Coliseum. He's saying, I'm here to play. Man, I was... Jeez, oh, that's beautiful. That's pretty I was, right there. I was, um, so, like, looking... Really, like, looking at, um... Creaky and, and Samurai and stuff. But, wow, this player just active, coming and saying, Hey, I'm here to take the title. This is my week, sir. I've labbed these combos this week, and I'm here to show them off. Jeez. That was, hey, I never enjoy watching Melina, but that was that was a joy to watch. Eva Crowley yeah. in chat just put a surprised face of like, all right, you got it, man. You, <laughs> you got it. Hey, good shit by Crowley, though. Oh, man, those are some. This is just round one. Oh my god, yeah. I, thought, I thought I thought we were almost near done, but not not really. We got yeah, there's only three matches left. But guys, this is a unique format. Here in semifinals, these turn into first of fives. It'll be Ghost Samurai versus T Seed first of five. Dink versus Active first to five. And then our grand finals, first to seven. But before that, we're gonna take a break, Mike. In between each round, we like to take a five minute breather, both for us and for you guys. Get some snacks, use the restroom, and when we come back semi-finals of week number four season two here in the coliseum don't go anywhere
Coliseum Season 2 is brought to you by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. And the Coliseum Studios. That's right, we're our own sponsor. Check out events, merch, music, and more at Coliseum.gg. Welcome back to the Coliseum, everyone. We didn't need our five minutes because we're too hyped for this top four. Man, Aquaman throwing in those blows. We had, I'm just excited, we seen, man. We've seen crazy combos. Some crazy combos. We, it was only round one, and all the matches were hyped. But now, the semifinals. Their first to fives. Go Samurai. T-Seed. How is this not a grand finals match? And then you have Jujinki Dink. My brother with the Quan and MK Active. MK Active this week, man, he's just showing like this new player style. He could be reinventing Mortal Kombat X as we speak. This is crazy top four and it's coming to you now. Aquaman, tell us. I'm excited for this one. Our first semifinal guys, which means that it's gonna be first to five. If you guys are unfamiliar with our format, semifinals, these rounds, they're single elimination, but they get longer and longer as we go. We're just waiting on Ghost Samurai's arrival, and then we will have this started for you. Oh my goodness, what's it gonna be? Man, I can't, I, I, I couldn't bet on anyone. I wouldn't know. Too many people are showing just their adaptability and, and just, I don't know who could take it. This is a crazy top four, all of these four people, man. It'll be exciting. Hey, shout outs to Shujinki Dink in the chat. It's cool, all these yeah, players yeah, yeah. Uh, and stuff. What are you guys doing? You should be focused on your matches. We're only going to make you more nervous. Yeah, they, everyone's been pretty chattative. Chattative? Chattative. Talk, talkative? They've yeah. been pretty talkative in the chat tonight. Um, so, shout to everyone that's just involved here at the Coliseum. It's essentially a TC. Go Samurai is here, so you can go ahead and kill me. <laughs> oh, man, we're starting. We're gonna be starting. Sorry, uh, we're just waiting on him to kill me here and then we'll have a match. You know what? We'll watch him swag out because one of his characters is this last year, uh, Takeda. Yeah, TC um, used last year Takeda week one. And man, the spacing with the, um, the whips and everything. Yeah, the jump back one, the extended down one yeah. that this one possesses, the 50-50s. Yeah, hold on. A little bit of damage right there. Of course, it has the kunai, and that kunai is going to be a mix-up off of those half-screen back one. Was it back one, two, where he covers so much of the screen? <clears throat> and I'm wondering if this is what the pick is going to be, because we got to go to... Then you better kill me! He doesn't care anymore. He wants more of the limelight. Come on, TC. Damn, this is crazy. TC is in this top four. MK active. Jinky Dink. Like, what? What is going on here? Man, MKX still such a fun game to watch. I oh, man. Just thinking about what could NRS be cooking up in their laboratory. What is the next okay. game? Okay. I'm gonna stop trolling them. I'm gonna stop trolling them, guys. Can you kill me, RETC? You better do a combo or something. Oh, goodness. Is this gonna kill? Oh, my God. Wait, that killed? Wait, that shouldn't have killed. Chad, I'm so sorry. That shouldn't have killed. That did way too much damage. Are you kidding me? That was broken. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't get him. Next couple matches. By the way, we, we we played in tournament earlier, and T Seed destroyed my life force with Johnny Cage. Wins. Flawless victory. Destroyed my life force. So I'm curious what the picks can be here for Samurai, because he's gone with multiple different characters tonight already. There is a new king. Oh, that's a disrespectful yeah, TC, one. Man, he, he has that reptile. And everything. I would love to see TC and an active go at it just because their combos are like, you know. That would be a fast paced match. 
Like, that oh. would just be... And speaking of fast-paced, <clears throat> wait a second. We haven't... We've av we've avoided having Tremor on the screen for a couple weeks now. Oh my gosh, I almost thought he was gonna go. And I think TC is on the left and Ghost Samurai is on the right? That'd be crazy if it, if TC oh, was Ermac. Yes. Ghost Samurai was Reptile. So, okay, both of these two. I'm starting to think Ermac is Ghost Samurai's main. I used to think it was Shinnok, but I mean, maybe both of them are his main. He doesn't really have a main. He has like two characters he plays really, really well. Um, so I'm thinking with this one, Ghost Samurai's Ermac is going to try to keep TC away, you know, space with the push, you know, get in when he can. And TC is going to be all over the screen. You know, you're no stranger to it. You already know what he's about. He's going to go crazy, try to confuse Ghost Samurai. And here it is. The beginning. Whoa! Trading armor in for nothing right there. Usually if you see an armor trade with the push of Ermac, he actually gets a combo for it. But there was active enough, and this is... We thought the next... Or if he would have met active, it was going to be a swing fest. We're already <coughs> pressing buttons between the two in this one. And I love that cross-up jumping that, um, that Ghost Samurai just did. That was perfect, knowing the hitbox of uh, the jumping. So crazy. And now, TC, here we go. Oh, look who was ready for it. Samurai doing his homework from what TC did earlier. In that round one match, committing to the low off of that string, and he did it again! He's a madman. Not gonna be enough and, for the first round, though. And if we could give, like, awards round to, like, two. defense of the night, fight of the night. Man, Ghost Samurai, I've noticed, like, every week, his defense in the clutch is just so crazy. Like, the way he just blocks the mix-ups, like, TC never does the slide after that one string, and for him to do it and freaking Ghost Samurai to block it, it is amazing, just his defense. Something that... TC, I would say his offense gets him as far as he's getting, and I would say Ghost Samurai and his defense gets him as far as he's uh, getting in this tournament. Brand right impeccable. TC. Only one's gonna be able to advance here. EX Claw! Go with some big boy options right there, and TC, they will take that pretty convincingly. Some of those mixes. Finding their mark in Reptile? It's got some scary offense, and that's, you know, TC, that's some very offensive-minded and mix-heavy characters. That's Reptile, he's a safe 50-50, that leads to a lot of damage both ways. And we, and we see that from a multitude of characters. The Johnny Cage has some mix-ups. He almost cooked them with the NJP, not a bit of god tier. God tier read right there. Um, and same thing with Lasher Takeda. Built-in, safe mix-ups. Maybe that's what he's all about. Yes, and Ghost Samurai just trying to stop T Seed in his tracks. It is tied right now in meter and in health. Oh no, wait a minute. Whoa! Going up in life. He he went ham, egg, and cheese right there. The entire omelet's on the screen. The mix up. Oh, Ghost Samurai trying to press a button. But with no resources, T Seed's able to re establish some control. And it was the maddening speed of pressure from him right there. Sorry. Press the wrong button. But you'll see it change. Hey, technology on display. And it was it was right before this hit where it really started getting crazy. Uh, even health, he just got some health back. Everything's good. And time to go. Time to go nuts. Might, might, might not have been a gap right there. Immediate side switch overhead. Hmm. Even checks him there with the dash. And that was just a clean close out there. Even on health to full throttle in 10 seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm TC's biggest fan right here. I hope to get his autograph one day. I love how he plays, just the, the ferocity of it. He never he never lets up, he never lets you breathe. And he's doing a great job with his staggers, knowing what to do, when to do it. He's keeping it dirty. He keeps, he keeps the game dirty, he keeps the fight dirty. Yeah. There's, a, there, there's an added level of filth to his play and that's just him naturally being aggressive and making hard reads and aggressive reads and the only time that he competed on the coliseum guys back in week one he made grand finals can he go two for two i'm gonna the throw conversion. up i'm gonna throw up <laughs> conversion. oh my gosh man this week has probably been the week of conversions like Ooh. i've never seen some of these and you never see x-rays that's not gonna kill. 
Oh, that was just. That was it. Oh, my What is. I can't. Even the raw dash right there. He's doing everything in his power not to give him momentum. At the cost of his own life, but they're working. He's willing to take the risk of just going in, going in, going in, not allowing you to do anything. He doesn't want you to breathe. He doesn't want you to get that space. Because we've seen what Ghost Samurai can do when you give him space and breathing room. And here it is. Ghost Samurai could potentially come back. He's done it many of times. Right now, he's pokes. He's godlike pokes. Yes, he knows when to ex put. Doing a great job. He's out of there, Ooh. though. Leapfrog is way in too. Ghost Samurai is a nice wake up anti airs have been. On point from every player. We're gonna get some health back. This is the smart stuff. Doable. T seed. No bar. Gets away with a down three on block into the back two. And is gonna take the second game. That was filthy. Did he just do down three, down three, back two on block? These players are wild. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about to find out. Oh. I, th I think I think we just caught that that back two in a uh, in slow motion right there. Let me go back back a little bit farther, guys. Sorry about that. Oh man, we got it all right there. That was crazy. Sorry, one more jump. Down three, down um, three, back two on block, on block. That should be a crime. Red red flag on the field. Ten yards. Excessive mashing. Cyclone throwing some shade in the chat, saying the two seed win week one. Oh, yeah. what an yeah. animal! <laughs> Get up in here, Cyclone. We want you back, champ. Okay. Go, Samurai. Looking good. They, this is first to five. Jeez. Adaptability that we're gonna see with both of these players. Go, Samurai. No stranger to it. Great as most samurais uh, air to air dog, TC's been doing such a great job with his air to airs. What? Who's the younger one? This man has really good reactions. He's got some savage reversal overheads too. Samurai, okay. Not in dash range. He still closes the gap anyway, and that's safe. Go Samurai, if he didn't do that forward three at that exact spot, that could have been disastrous. TC had a, had a three meter kill and meter hasn't been a problem for this man tonight. Uh oh, that bubble's coming. It's coming. It's still coming. Ah! It's like a horror movie. Yeah, and Oryx saying he's learning a lot from uh, seeing this play, man. We're all learning from these guys. This is the highest level right now of this game. Takes the round there with the with that nauseous stank on. When you see him activate that, guys, and you see a little bit of a stronger aura, what a cool way that cops over there. Um, it's gonna do damage over time while you're close to him, and, and it, it, it does do a small amount of damage over time naturally if you're close to him. But you, you can barely notice it up there in the top left on that health bar. Sorry, on the top right on the health bar. Look at that, like point one, point one here, point one there. But if he exes it, does some decent dot damage. We have yet to see TC and Johnny Cage, which I'm a huge fan of. This reptile is just putting on a show. He doesn't need to go to Johnny Cage. He's doing such a great job. Go yeah. Samurai working it. You know he wants this this uh this week. He deserves no way. a couple weeks. Oh, he had the read of reads. He got Ghost Samurai off of the meter, avoided the chip damage that would have killed, which is why Ghost Samurai did it. But he didn't get the punish. This is gonna be this is gonna be an absolute heartbreaker to watch back. Oh man, I keep over overdoing it here. <laughs> TC Replay master. knows that that would have chipped, and he missed the string. Ouch. Hmm. What a different story we may have been experiencing tonight on the Coliseum if that punish would have worked out. But now, all that exists as a, uh, oh man, I forgot what it's called on Loki when when a, a uh, timeline goes up on its own. But that's but, but that's that's what that would have been because not in this timeline did that occur. 
for TC. And it's first blood going to go Samurai in game four. First of five. This is not going to be match point for TC, guys. We're going distances. Man, as you can see, man, as much as TC was up those two uh, matches and just kind of put a dominating performance, Go Samurai coming back. He's looking like the, the dominant one now. He is, um, he won that last match. He's looking so good this next match. He's looking very hard for TC. He didn't do anything. Okay. Ghost, Ghost Samurai found his wits. He's here, puts TC in the corner. The pressure is on both with two bars a meter. Okay, full combo. Yes, getting the extra meter. Okay. Yes, he has TC in the corner. The pressure that is put on by Ghost Samurai. Oh, and I love the little shimmy he did. The stagger into full conversion. Jeez, this man's putting on a symphony right now. Wow, baiting the wake up. Okay, getting health, which he doesn't even need, but hey. It's all about that. a win. One more hit's gonna do it. He goes Samurai. Tie us up. It's a Savage down two from TC. Get that float out of here. And he's gonna take it. We got ourselves a set here. Two to two. And we're nowhere near over. Woo! Every match tonight. We only had the 1 3 0 in round one. Two game fives. A 3 1 that almost went to game five. Filthy MKX tonight. Yeah, you gotta love it, man. These, these necros, man. I've heard of the necro legend. Team used to talk to me about it, and I'm like, what? Still people playing online, and they're great? It's amazing. I gotta see it someday. They all have when all I'm this here. knowledge and execution, and we're just trying to mash 50-50s over here, okay? Like, calm down. And a lot of them coming over from the Xbox side of things, too, which was which is really surprising. Round I know in uh, some of these guys' five. case... But boy, oh boy, you know, for for us, Mike, love that that conversation of we'd like to see them against some of the best players back in their prime too. Yeah, which it's is, one of those which is why we fights. Just like um, just like like Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson, you could never see it, but man, would that be something to watch? Seeing like Slayer King in their prime of MKX going against these Necros, which to be honest. I feel King still in his, he, he still plays these games. And so you can see like how it is to play like Forever King. And man, just to see like these guys could have went up against Sonic Hospital and like Slayer and DJT, MIC. Um, yeah, man. And just, it, it would be such a dream to see all these online players able to make it out to tournaments too. And Same. We have, have a show, you know. Which is why we're still doing this, honestly, to try to get them a little more involved in the competitive community. Woo! TC, the, ne the never-ending swag machine, 50% health. Our first half-lifer in a long time, I feel like. Yeah, you, you gotta love those half-life combos, 60% combos. Those are always great, man. Um, now in MK11, you get those by doing, like, three hits, and you'll get, like, a 60%er with Fatal Blow. In this game, you had to do like, you know, 30, 40 hits. But man, like something, man. Just like these players, I'm so happy. Like, I almost want to interview all of them and be like, so, so what got you into still playing MKX? Like, who showed you MKX? Like, and everything, man. I could just tell these men and possibly women, they just love the game. Um, just never like stop. Yeah, they just, just don't stop. And more kudos to them because a lot of people, Mike, being honest, as this is going to be close to the round, they they don't like a game, but continue to play it anyway. You know, and these guys, they, they know what they like. They know that they love this game and they continue to play it. And they've stayed happy and look how great they're playing in tournament versus someone that may not like MK11, but continuously sticks with it, or Injustice 2, right? It's actually re really refreshing to see people just enjoying the game, enjoying a game. Just enjoying the game at all. Yeah, I respect a player that, an admire a player that, they don't play the game because, oh, it's the latest game, or it's, it's I'm gonna play it because Ooh, it's TC, this is first to five, buddy. Oh yeah, it's first to five. Um, dang, he thought it was a first to three. Hey, he's still in there. This could play a factor on his mental now. Um, but yeah, just like, 
just like they play it because they just love the game they love playing it they they don't care if there's any tournaments or anything and it's it's just great to see that and this match is not over guys i'm i tagged them on discord t seed it's all good i say another invite first of five get back in here more mortal kombat man more mortal kombat it ain't over it ain't over yeah man go samurai just went up three games in a row um tc just got to take a breather maybe he just was like i got i gotta go outside for a second walk it off um he can still come back he's doing good he's doing good it is three to two right now in this first of five get him back in here <sighs> and what a close one it still is even though the, even though we can kind of feel maybe a potential shift in momentum in ghost samurai's favor tc's got plenty of room since it's a first of five to maybe make a switch. She's got a really big roster of characters. What's it gonna be? No way, Kano. I doubt it. There's no way. What? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is this Ash Housewares? What is going on? No way. He was telling them to go Kano. Yeah, he was saying do it. He, he was saying do it. Do it. Commando? Do it. Commando Kano. Command grab city. Papa hugs. Man. This man, T Seed, he's insane. You gotta be insane to be at a high level of MKX. With all these characters? Ooh, the instant air ball. Okay, to start it off and get that meter. I respect you. And he just did a down three anti-air into an instant air cannon ball and it converted. That was kind of gross. Ooh, beautiful jump in. Oh, didn't get that. Bad. Okay. Go Samurai back dashing. Uh, Go Samurai really working for this uh, week four championship. Oh, went for the big boy read with a parry. Thought a four three might be coming. Scooped him out of the air. That was that was so sexy. I, you love to see it. This is crazy. The situations that they're getting into. Quick mix of the take throw. Was behind him. He was fearing a wake up. Was TC'd right there. Woke up jumping. He gets snipped for it. Two bars a piece. Okay. And, and one works. Beautiful grab. Tie game. And it went oh my god. I don't think that was hittable. Gorn just scooped him. And that does so much. That did 24%. That is ridiculous. What a clutch move. And TC. Correct. Correct with the pick. It's clutch right now with this Kano. Commando Ooh. nonetheless. Even that parry, 17% is just some thick damage. Oh, there's yeah, another one. I like, I like how he's abusing the back dash with Kano, because Kano has one of the best back dashes in the game. And just spacing. And that the the air ball has been working so well for him because it, it ends with the kick, the low kick. So it's, it's really nice. And wow, I did not expect to see this from TC, but it's TC. Kano wins. Man, TC, that's why I'm a fan. I don't think I've seen that brutality before. I honest, honest, honest guys. I've seen a lot of MKX. I don't think I've seen that in the match before. There's not a lot of Commando Kanos out there in the world. No, there's not. Uh, we seen one last week though. Uh, yeah, it was Ash Ash Housewares. Okay, yeah. Um, but man, oh, the scoop. TC had some clutch moments. Yeah, when he grabbed him out of the air. The what's really been working for him is the air ball. He's doing such a great job with the air ball, just reacting to anything that Go Samurai throws at him and just air balling. Boom, hits him instant air. It's amazing. TC in chat says, "Win or lose, I'm going to bring the hype." Round one, fight. Ooh, that's that's what I like to hear. It's imposter Shinnok now. Go Samurai, going with the Samurai. And oh, does does he have the command grab? Is that guaranteed? Ooh. Because that happens to Ferratour where it's kind of broken. Uh oh, big combo now. Swagginess. Gotta love the grabs. Okay. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What's it gonna be? Tie game right now. 
Another Phoenix ball. Oh, two I, think, I think that he tried to read. A shoulder tackle right there. He's got him on the ropes. One command grab. This is just convert fully. Back one into oblivion. And this Kano is on another level. One yeah, of the hypest the variations to even witness, to behold in this game. These players just out of nowhere picking characters we do not see them playing and just showing you how to play them. This is this, amazing to see. This is the power of a Necro right here. This is it. You're yeah. witnessing it. They main every character in the game at the highest possible level. I mean, he just tried to anti-air Shinnok's teleport on reaction. Like, calm down. Yo, if he tried it again. Does it look like a flawless? But you know what? Is it? He's just going to swing here and hold on to those three bars of meter. And so Samurai got his bearing, figured out the matchup. But jeez, TC balls all day in your face. He's just working it right now. He just knows every time it's like, it's so dangerous to ball too because if you block it, you're getting fully punished. Whoa! Action. Just pressing those buttons right now. The gaming, 32%. Oh, the cross-up works? Okay. Safe with what spacing? Samurai. I think that's slightly negative on the amulet charge up close. I think the EX is plus and that one maybe like minus seven-ish. And it has that wonderful backdash of Shinox as well. Sit down, you're not using this interactable. It says TC. How much is this doing? 19%. Is there another one? Oh, one more scoop. This is a scary spot for Samurai. If he's wrong on a tick throw, he's dead and he's wrong. And dead into the ground. Four to three. This turnaround. He, th he thought it was over. He himself Win. thought it was over, Mike. What a what a, a way by TC to respect. just throw this character at um at Ghost Samurai. And it, it's just such out of left field. And to do what he's doing with it, you didn't expect it. I expect Reptile, Johnny Cage, you know, but... Man, for him to just bust out with Commando Kano and it's working, Go Samurai has to sit at the character select screen and think, does he want to go Shinnok? Does he want to go Ermac? What's it going to be? It's TC. It's on I think, a tear. I think we've only seen the Shinnok and the Ermac from Go Samurai. I could be wrong. There, there, there might be one more Ermac. one more in there. What is going? Ermac. <laughs> Okay. They so are this many. T Seed okay. is on live. I mean, um, Ghost Samurai is on life support right now. He has just. T Seed just needs one to move on. Round Can one. he do it? Can he Fire. go to grand finals? Okay. Everything. They're they're so patient right now. They don't want to get hit. Dang, T Seed, those air balls, those instant air, air balls are working all night for him. That's a direct counter to that ground pound slam because if he makes the read, he jumps back. But there's also the counter to Vermac being able to teleport that, perhaps. But still, the fact that he takes that away with Commando is quite scary. Oh, this pressure right now. It's, this is scary. If, if you're wrong right there, he could have command grabbed again. He's got two bars of meter. Try to dare. He's on a tear with this command. I didn't. I never seen Commando Kano played so strongly. He looks like such a threat. Oh my gosh. That's it. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Wow. TC now match point from the brink of oblivion down three to two. For you fans of Rushdown, put your eyes on this screen right now. TC choosing when to tick throw, just keeping. Go Samurai on lockdown right now. In your face. Ne never letting up. Okay. Now, T Seed saying, hey, I can just chill. I can zone a little bit. You don't know when I'm going to go in with the ball again. Oh, there's a tick throw for 20%. Tried to make a read that he was going to armor, and he wanted the trade. If he would have got the down two through the armor, it still would have been a good trade for him. Kind of. A lot of meter on the screen. I'm scared. Oh, the, the down four of Kano. So strong, too. That's pretty much neutral with Kano. Down four and back dash. And then what back one. He's looking good, but okay. Go Samurai. Has the combo. He does not want to go down right now. He just has this round. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. It's Su turn. Super uh oh. X ray! He's oh! going down! Oh, God! Oh! 
and Ghost Samurai hoping this doesn't kill, and it does. TC, it's a teabag, it got personal. Ghost Samurai, tell him, I will see you next week, sir. Nothing Man, Ghost Samurai is getting surprise after surprise every week. Just the, these random characters that people mostly throw away in the trash saying, no, they're not viable, they're not good. But these necros show you otherwise. This was such wow. a favorable position for him too, but you see three meters. Never know what's gonna happen. And because he hit these Kano balls, which by the way, let's let's go back a bit. Just an in instant air Kano ball as a reversal. Could have died for that. He didn't care. Four three lead, I guess. And he does another one. If if that would have gotten blocked, he'd have been dead. But because they hit, put him in the magic territory to make wow. the read. Man, and I would Calculated. say that's the that was the move of the night is the Kano ball. Instant air Kano ball. That was the determining factor. That was the ace in the hole that TC knew why he's picking Kano. That was amazing to watch. Just yeah. one move. One move to determine, hey, this is what's gonna help me win. And that beat Ermac. Great to see. Great play by TC, man. I'm a fan. Every match, every round, I become more of a fan. Can't wait to meet this guy and get his autograph. We will be making grand finals for the second time in a row, technically. Two for two. Only showed up in week one. Made grand finals there. Comes back and says, you know what? Just picking up where I left off. Showing up yes. like that dude in Kickboxer looking for Cyclone going, you are next. And now we have Shujinki Dink and MK active. Now I'm scared because out of any character that I play with when I'm playing Quan Chi that I'm afraid of is Melina. So uh, my eyes are going to be glued to the screen, seeing what can Shujinki Dink do against this Melina. What variation is he going to play? Because MK active is proving to be probably the best Melina right now with his combos and everything. Um, and TC just waiting in the just waiting there saying huh who is who, who is he gonna play this is gonna be wild man this next match jinky dink hold on dude you're going against the melina we all know what happens when we get melina Ooh, that we indeed do guys if you want to get in on the action if you're in the u.s canada or puerto rico sign up for the coliseum every single friday saturday and sunday i'm gonna lie to your guys' face for a second not the following weekend and weekend after that we are taking two weeks off for christmas and for new year's enjoy your holidays and when we come back it'll be four weeks straight and the finales but at that point it will be every single friday saturday and sunday for two months in a row and so if you guys want to get on the action go sign up smash.gg slash coliseum and let me get these let me get these players in real quick. Let me see my job on here. Who will be moving on to grand finals? Do Jinky Dink, MK Active. I also want to talk about if you guys like what you see here on the Coliseum graphically, the guy that makes it also runs a website called pixelpro.io where he creates free resources for content creators. You need notification bells. You need stream graphics. He's got a bunch of, he has a whole library of free content. And he also releases uh, paid packages. And he just released this one, super cheap, and it's fully customizable. It's called Flow. If you guys want to bump up your stream from the guy that made the Coliseum graphics, so you know it's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's fucking gorgeous. Animated, mwah. You can make it whatever color you want, mwah. And I think it's like $2.99. It's something dirt cheap. Go check it out. And if you need anything, little notification things, you just find it right there. And then I definitely just jacked that up, but also got East Coast Throwdown going down. If you're into Mortal Kombat 11 and want something to compete on on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, $500 to top four or top three. I could be wrong on that. I'm um, pretty sure it's top four. Goes down on Facebook Gaming. If you guys want a link, just hit me up in the Discord and I'll post it there. I'll, I'll post it there every week. Um, 
in the MK11 portion of it. Go check them out. Um, we're getting that other semifinal match set up for you. It's going to be shoot jinky dink. It's going to be active. Active swagged out on us for what felt like 15 minutes straight in his first round match against Crowley, his debut here on the Coliseum. And Dink's going to have to be on alert, like you talked about. That matchup is not pretty. This is an overwhelming offensive force of Apollo nature coming at you. Dink, yeah. Dink may have to implement the, the uh, PTG method. I I must learn from Dink. I, I, I'm wondering, what can he do to stop this madness of MK Active? Because I'm not sure. I don't know how to crack the Melina code. We'll see if the Quan Father has the answers. It's semifinals time, guys. Active versus Dink. And would you look at this <gasps> surprise what? here? Oh my. It's going to be Cyrax. I'm excited. One of my favorite characters, Cyrax. We seen what MK Active did with Melina. You know Cyrax is gonna have them swaggy combos. Hey, What's the moment, do? the moment that Cyrax even starts a combo here, Mike, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do an intermission screen, and when we come back, it will still be going on. Trust me. Oh yeah, and here it is. Just like Aquaman was saying, look at this is basically a time, a time consumer. Man, Timer scan. I thought that was gonna be a short one. Both of these characters, Cyrax, you gotta love him from MK9. You know in MK9, he had those big damaging combos, sometimes 100%ers. Ooh. Okay. Dagger. Ooh, what? Nice. That didn't convert? He's not. He's gonna eat it for this. Big Dammy. Oh, good luck blocking that, but luckily he didn't get launched. So gets cut by the low. I think that he figured it was going to be chipped regardless. A good first round from Active. That was a close one. Could have gone either way. Dink was one mix up from a dream, but it, he's did got unlucky on a little conversion. Yeah, and I'm learning so much from the Cyrax right now. It's crazy what he has. He played Melina. Jeez, he looks like a Cyrax main. I've never seen a Cyrax. You rarely see Cyrax because they put him at the bottom of the tier list. Yeah, and I thought that that was criminal. Oh, here we go. Okay. I told you, I and told you, I going. told you it would still be going on. And here we go. <laughs> and wow, the double bomb setup. Jeez. Ooh. Wow. That was okay. MK Active has all the swag. You know he loves to just play this game and do the and lab combos. You see it all played out right now. He's doing he's doing a practice run combos right now. Oh, he could have converted that with the with the bat. It wasn't ready for it. It's gonna be chip. Not like this. Wow. Oh, Dink oh, could have had both rounds right there. That was so close. And is this ever going to end into the sumo drop from hell? And we've got back-to-back -back matches where people are just getting body dropped into their death. Man, Ooh. for a active Cyrax right now. Who Pay said he was bottom tier? Because it is not looking like that. I'll ban you. I that love seeing the setups game. he did with the double bombs and like the high lows. That's how do you block that? Pray to God, man. PTG. <laughs> I see now. He, so is, he is abusing the fact that Quan Chi uh, needs that life alert button when he gets knocked down. Because when he's when he's falling, he cannot get up. Yeah. So this is actually Love a perfect Skydrive. character to play against Quan. Okay, what Shujinki, what Shujinki Dink got in the, Round one. got up his sleeve. Fight. Right now, it is looking difficult. This MK active, man, all the swag. Who knows this man in the chat? Who's the fan seeing this man play tonight? Oh my god, set up. Ooh. Can't block it. And, it. and here we go. Gonna happen all over again. He had the bar to keep that going if he really wanted to. And Dink's, Dink is one of the best I've seen at confirming a down three hand dire. He stands for trances. On coming. Yeah. 
seeing that tonight, and I was like, wow, I wish I thought that. <laughs> There's another one for you. Mule. I may have lied to your face. It looked like he was a little pre-committed on that. Thought the down three was gonna have some hit advantage. Good luck. Oh. Oh. So what came to block? Mike, what came first? The overhead or the left? Uh <laughs> I couldn't tell you either. I I think that what the general pattern is is like down, down, up, down. Most of the time, but you truly never know if the frame is gonna change. Yeah, you can choose to like delay it, to you know, do it later, earlier, it's, and the timing that you could mess with your opponent. Oh my god. <laughs> the double bomb, I love that double bomb setup. That is crazy, you gotta block twice low. Oh, went over knees, puzzles with the NJP. In a disgusting conversion active, that should be all she wrote. And now he's gonna go for a ride again. What a Cyrax! E this man Cyrax is on another level. Tribal what is Deke wins. gonna do? I would think to go Sorcerer, not even Summer Summoner, but I'm I'm not sure. If he stays Summoner, I would probably tell him to look out for the teleport more, hey, do the neutral respect. jump punch. Man, Bo ass. bottom bottom tier, by the way. Throne. Yeah, people say this man, Cyrax is bottom tier. Whew. Act active is not a bottom tier player. Making, making his top eight debut and making his presence known is three games away from a grand final performance. There's a lot of points on the line. There's a lot of jelly in these donuts, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But 200 points going to the winner here tonight. 150 to second. So getting grand finals is a guaranteed 150 points. That's huge. Round one. If we look Fight. at if we look at the current standings, 150 will get you into top eight in points in standings, halfway through the season. And that goes to show you that anyone watching this, if you think you're good enough to win, and you want a shot at a little bit of money that we're raising, I pressed the wrong button. Towards the end, we've already raised 222 dollars for the finale. One. Grand final, one semifinal performance here can get you enough points to be in the finale. That's how close it is. Oh, and speaking of fun, the blockable. So Dink didn't get the combo off it, but boy, oh boy, has that down three anti-air been spicy. Okay, Dinky Dink is looking a lot better this round. He stayed with Summoner. I respect it. This is all he got to do. Keeping... Keeping him MK active locked down in this corner. Doing a lot better with the Quan Chi. Figuring him out. Okay. Active though. Dink is on a tear. You must stop this wild animal. Dink got the hit. And you know what happens when Quan Chi got the hit. Uh oh, he's going old school with it too. Time to guess. Yep. Oh, GG's. Wow. Guess wrong. You were about to take some damage, brother. Both of these characters, man, are walking set play. And what a crazy... Uh, thread of a needle to 1-1 one, one before the back came around for the cross-up. And once, even when Quan Chi throws out the bat, once you hit Quan Chi, the bat goes away. It didn't, it didn't hit him. He could actually come back. Actually, he could still come back with some big combos in the reset. Uh-oh. And it all starts right now. Has deep in the corner. Has the combo. What's the mix going to be? And he got it! Wait. Ooh. He got Dink's out of there. Oh, no, take the one out there. There's no third with the version. But the swing afterward. Going to do it. He's on the board. He showed it all. Oh. Are we going to see a Quan Chi win? This is going to be wild. Dink, I, I, I respect Dink still playing MK. I know how he feels about Quan Chi, just like he one of the most fun characters we've ever played in a fighting game. That's why I know he stays on MKX, because it's just so fun to play this character. I know every move he does, he has a great time playing the character. And it just shows oh. it in his game, but... And it might be Michelangelo's red dream now, as we are going to witness a Quan off. Oh, that, wow. that, doesn't, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound... <laughs> it's a Quan off. It's a, it's a Quan off, okay. It's a Summoner and Sorcerer. Who's better? 
Man, with this matchup, to be completely honest, I think Summoner beats Sorcerer, because even when you throw out the armored portal, um, you could zone him all day with the bat. Anyway, he stops his butt. It doesn't look like that's the case. Captain looking really good right now. Throwing in those mixes. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Wait a minute. You gotta block all this, sir? You gotta block all this? <laughs> you didn't want none. This has this has been non-stop. Get the hit and murder them. Yep. That's and MK Dink? for you, ladies and gentlemen. But see, Dick might come off the bar for the reset. He's been optimal with his meter. Yep. Oh, I don't get that oh. damage. No breakaway. We get to see the full force. He dropped the trance. I'm wondering if he did that on purpose. Oh, and the jump in. Yep. Trance. Beautiful anti -air. Trance. Oh, he didn't have the stamina to convert. After that first stand one, he was out. Got the infamous and lucky that converted there from Dink. Dink said, I'm the Quan Chi, sir. What are you doing? Oh, and he's waiting. Active was waiting for that Antire, but it didn't work out. She Dinky Dink smart going with the jump in three. Make it harder to Antire. Dash under stand one, two into the stand four. Dink's conversions are god tier with this character. Oh, yeah. Another one. Ooh. Good Every time confirmed. Active is taken to the skies. He's gone for the ride of his life. Gonna be guessing here. And oh, not quick enough on the puggle, but he commits anyway. Wow. Dick is an absolute animal. And this is Hail a Mary. message sent. Okay. Get, guys, can we be serious? Did it? I feel like, I feel like people keep you swagging on Dink early. And then he <laughs> makes the comeback. Quan Chi. Wins. Doesn't teabag just lets the mix do the talking for him? Pay yeah, and he's mixing correctly. He is mixing correctly with this Quan Chi. Nice representation. Ink got it, man. It's all tied up, two to two. They want this grand finals. TC just waiting in the wings. He's just waiting, like in his chair, <laughs> watching behind their back, just waiting. Like, okay, who's it gonna be? Uh oh. And active getting serious now. This is what I'm afraid of. Oh, this is it. You I'm were shocked talking about it. I'm shocked. Active didn't go this like since the beginning. Now I really need to study what Dink does because if Dink beats Active right now, that is making a statement because man, it's hard to beat Melina's with Quan Chi, and this is why she can react to you trying to get your bat out, teleport all day. You can't jump in really, and Quan Chi's jump in one is amazing. She can anti-air you with the roll. Look at this right now. Active all over the place. He says, enough playing around. I'm here to just box. And everywhere on screen. Everywhere on screen. Oh, yeah, you're looking so rough right now. He needs something to breathe. Summon the bad rock. Oh, the one he finally didn't convert off of Mike. We may have cursed him. Yes, and Melina's just so scary everywhere on screen. Look at this dominating performance right now. Active going up. Fight. One, one and one. Up one round, okay. So like anywhere she's at, I, I can feel, I feel for Dink. Because I can feel the anxiety in his soul right now. Anywhere Melina is on screen. Doesn't matter if she's close to you, far away. You're just like, what do I do and when do I do it? <gasps> oh, Dink had his moments. Let it go and because yeah. that active is going to have his bar now. And that's what Melina does to you. She makes you second guess yourself. Ooh. Nice reaction. Active's got those. He has meter too. Is he gonna try to swag on us here? We saw the teleport combos before multiple rounds. He's gonna try it here. Does it go? Oh, I mean, just still swaggy enough. Kept it grounded. He's gonna reestablish the lead here. And what you feared has come to life. Just like Scarecrow winning Injustice 2 yesterday. More fear on display. In the, in the form of Melina. Yeah, I'm just so scared of this character. You don't understand. Quan Chi, I feel your pain, Dink. It's, a, it's a scary game. one for sure. She goes all over you. She never lets up. If it makes you feel better, Mike. Get a ticket, take a number, and get in line. A, lo a, a lot of us are afraid of this character. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> we get Ultra Arcade on YouTube saying I love Melina. Ultra Arcade, I'm going to ban you. I don't know how to ban people on YouTube yet, but let me find out. <laughs> I'll find a way. <laughs> Round one, fight. 
Okay, active up three to two against your Jinky Ding. It was looking good against the Cyrax versus Quan and, and all of that, but man, the moment MK Active went to Melina, I almost forgot he had a Melina because the, the performance he was displaying with the, the other characters. And then when he picked Melina, I said, oh yeah, shoot. Okay. Yeah, this has looked tough for him to deal with this overwhelming pressure. When and where can he press a button? Yeah, it's so Ask your magic okay. eight ball because we don't have a clue. All right, Dean. We got something. Oh, no! That is the tech, but the game. A couple times people have tried to throw her right there. The game's like, dude, we don't even know where she is. No clue. Yeah. That's crazy, because, yeah, I thought that was the tech, too, but it didn't work out that time. Okay. Jinky Ding looking good. What can he do to stop this woman? Okay. See? Yes. Okay, she's doing good with the zoning. Her health is really low. But once she's in, okay, he needs to keep it dirty. He just has to transfer and keep her locked down. He's going to go for the full combo, get the kill. This next that round... That meter is worrying me a little bit. Three bars on active. Gonna swag out, and Dinks missed the punish on teleport multiple times. He's really fortunate to have gotten that low to hit, regardless, because now he's gonna get a big reward. Bats up. Time to play. He got the hit. That was beautiful. How it auto corrects like that. I love seeing that. Oh, he's got low destroyed by the overhead. Big damage, forty-four percent. She oh hits like God. a grown ass woman. Okay. okay. He's looking really good though. Okay. Is he gonna get the the mix up? Is he gonna go for the mix up? He will. He's gonna get the knockdown. Okay. He's not gonna be able to bat. Oh no! No! One more mix. I didn't know you could ball right out of teleport. That's so scary. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! oh. Oh, we just Melina. We, dude, we just we just witnessed this. We just a murder. Gosh, active man throwing out just. First of all, going against any Melina is scary, but he's going against MK Active's Melina. Jeez, what can this man can't be stopped? I wonder why he didn't go for the hard knockdown here. Yeah, the one for one. That, yeah, that made almost no sense to me. I'm really curious. Yeah, he thought. He thought he had something yeah, he in his mind. He had a blueprint, but didn't work out that time. Oh, them legs. She's got legs and she knows how to use them. Man, and then teeth to back it up. It is now four to four to two. Right? Four to three four in active favor, I think. Okay. Four to three. This is it. Four to two? I think I I think I may have jacked that last one up. Is it try, is a four two in your chat? Uh, I may have given Dink a game right there. Because yeah, I think Dink beat the Cyrax and he beat the um, the other character. But I don't think he's beaten Melina yet. And Cyclone said one one. He just one yeah. <laughs> Thanks, chat. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Cyclone. <laughs> I'll put it one one. Start it. Start from the beginning. Ooh. And, okay. Think got this round. round two, He's on life support. Fight. He needs it. Okay, everyone's saying it is four to two. Oh uh, yeah. Thank you guys. You guys help me stay sane. I don't know if I say that enough, but thank you. Think in this corner, and this is the scariest place in Mortal Kombat X history. Is Quan Chi in the corner? You have no wake up. No reversal. Just to, and your normals aren't even that great. You think in a big boss, I'm going to jump in. Ooh, that was aggression 101. Saw that there was no stamina and woke up forward dash mix up because that's the read that your opponents can be standing still. And then, a... whew, that's a rare one. Take notes. I don't know what normal that is from Lena, but Active has been spacing that so well. That's going to be all she wrote. It's match point now. For Active's debut, did anyone see this coming? No one knew. No Was one anyone knew. like, yo, Active's in this? GG's. Yeah, because that's how he's making us all feel right now. Man, but Dink, hey, Dink's staying in it for the army. For the Quan army. He's staying in it. Come on. 
What's he gonna do? Alright, he's looking good. Looking good this round. He has a mix. What? Just knows how to get out of dodge. She just disappeared from existence for a few seconds, Mike. No big deal. It's no big deal. Why did they even give her that move? Okay. I think not much life to work with. But wait, he got the combo. Comeback time, boys. Yep. Smart. Very smart. He's gonna make sure she gets stuck. And yes, he got it! Woo! Dink stays alive and gets gets some swag on the board himself. Execution was crisp three. and uh, <laughs> four to three. I like what I, I love see. that laugh. I want to get that laugh as a sound bite. Yeah, that is a good one actually. <laughs> when I first there heard that laugh, king. it was the greatest thing. Let's watch this back a little bit, and this is where active, you know, could have just mixed him to death and staggered him to death. Right here, it was one hit away. No, no break to worry about for Dink, but one little wake-up jump out of the corner. MK11 mm -hmm. it right there, respect. And that was the smartest thing Dink could do, is the EX trance to keep him stuck in the hit stun. And just, because if you knock down Melina, it's still not sure you're going to get the mix-up on wake-up, because she has all these crazy wake-ups to teleport, Man, the roll. Yeah. Um, so good for him. He knows yeah. what he's doing now. And when Summoner has you in the corner, and he hits you with a bar, you see why... This character is still viable because that sequence that Dink did, did 70% for one bar. Oh man. But you have to be in the right spot, right? You have to have hit them in the corner. You have to not have a breaker to worry about and then be right on the mix-up after. Yeah, and right now active, he just wants to match. He's like, I've, I've had enough of this. I am Melina. Stop it. <laughs> he said, I've had enough of this. I am Melina. Oh, and he says, get back down here. Ooh, that's so scary to do the jump in. Almost with the conversion. If that converted, I would have given him a medal. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Down three, back three, trance. He, he, was, he was trying to make that up on the fly, and I respect it. Three bars a meter for Dink. He's been known to make those full screen reads when he's fully loaded with a trance. Oh, stop it. That ball roll, best anti-air in the game. Dude, that went that went through a bat and a jump in. That broke the laws. And so does that teleport. <laughs> Aquaman having a phasm. It's just wild. This is what MK does does to you guys. And green keeping it dirty, I like it. He's keeping the mix-ups going, not allowing active to do much. What? And Dean can do this for the quad army? Hold on! Active thought it was over with a long time ago. And it is not, sir. Active though, three juicy bars of meter to Dink's only one. Okay, Active with the full combo. He's up in life and in meter. This is looking scary now. Okay, gets a jump back from so far away he couldn't even convert. Tries a down three out there and it's wonderfully called out. By the teleport to trance! Goes through nothing! This is a wild swing fest. And Dink finds the mark, the two bars coming in handy, and she had time to forward dash and then roll. Doesn't get the conversion. Wait. Mashes down. What a oh, roll! And that's gonna be it. Active. Taking off the legs. Wow. Hey, bravo to Dink. Thank you, my Quan brother, for keeping us in there, keeping alive. Game you work hard over. for this. Hey, no, no slouch. Pay your and he's gonna take a third. Is that third place? No, it tied for fourth? Tied for third, technically. Key. Okay. Yep, that was amazing play. Amazing play. But now we have T Seed. T Seed and MK Active, the two swaggiest guys in the Coliseum. This is what you want to see. This was it. Do you remember when T Seed versus Ghost Samurai started? You're like, I want to see T Seed versus Active. Because yes. that's going to be an <laughs> high octane, to say the least. Both, both of these men, the, some of the moves they do, you think, uh, I've never seen that move in my life. Man, some of the conversions just tonight, T-Seed, I know you remember that slow motion conversion where he did the two spits and oh. still got the convert. Jeez, and MK Active with those con converts off of the enhanced teleport into the instant air jump uh, punch, and then he just kept repping it. These men are going to put on a show for us today. Who will be the champion of the swag tonight? We are about to find out. That we are. Let's take a look at the points and see see where this comes into play because T-Seed's going to be guaranteed 150 points. 
Um, Dinkudo Samurai getting some big ones. So, Creaky X gonna be possibly holding on to first place. I didn't realize Ghost Samurai was uh, that far behind. Ghost Samurai outplacing him by one. That's 25 more points. Um, we got Crowley getting some points as well in the top eight. The T seed guaranteed a minimum of 150, so he'll be jumping up to 300 and getting high on this leaderboard. We haven't seen T Fox since week one either. And active, you see, they're in seventh place. I don't think that we've seen active on stream yet because he got like ninth and ninth or something like that. May have gotten one top eight active. If I'm wrong, forgive me. My memory's terrible. But he's going to be sitting pretty here as well. Guaranteed 150 points. Both him and T Seed are technically tied right now. The winner will jump ahead by 50 points. This is just as great. Both of them are in top eight. Showcasing their domination of the Coliseum Season 2 thus far. After this week, we'll only be halfway there, though. So, guys, sign up. Um, someone in chat says, Can I sign up for MK11 tomorrow if I register today? Yes. Smash.gg slash Coliseum. I'll put it in the chat for you. Before we get this grand final started, guys, we're going to take one last break. One more breather. After two first of fives, let's settle down again. Let's get restarted because we know what's coming. We know that this is going to be... The, the speed everywhere. The potential characters, the speed that both these characters play out. I expect madness in this grand final, guys. I expect madness. So don't go anywhere. Five minutes and we'll be back with grand finals. Don't go anywhere.
Coliseum Season 2 is brought to you by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. And the Coliseum Studios. That's right, we're our own sponsor. Check out events, merch, music, and more at Coliseum.gg. Welcome back, everyone. It's grand finals time here. It's week four of Mortal Kombat X. It's Coliseum season number two. It's been wonderful. This is going to be our halfway mark here for season number two, guys. Week number four, one match away from being in the books. Four weeks remain, though. And I got to remind you guys that we're going, we are going on a two-week break after this for the holidays. And when we come back... It's two months straight, almost, of action till mid-February. And tonight's action, if you guys haven't watched, if you're just tuning in, it's been incredible. And the two craziest, fastest-playing players I've seen in the bracket so far are going at it here. Michelangelo, I think it's time. I think it's time for Grand Finals. I cannot wait any longer, sir. T-Seed, MK Active, craziest men that, that, are, that have been this week. Um... Yeah, this is it. I, I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know who they're picking, but I just know it's going to be a slugfest. I don't know either, but guys, let's get into it. Grand Finals, first to seven. T Seed versus MK Active. And we got a little bit of a surprise for you here. Your favorite players got a surprise for you, Mike. Round one, fight. Whoa. Johnny Cage, Melina. What a I, treat. I've never in my life, and I've commentated a lot of MKX. You've commentated a lot of MKX. I've never seen yeah. someone armor whatever gap he just armored at the start of that match. Never in my life. What the fuck did he just... What? The knowledge. Yeah. Galaxy brain. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're starting it off. PC's looking really good with Johnny right now. MK Active just wondering, what can I do to stop this man? And he's looking really good. I think this was the right pick from PC. Ooh! The down three's got him cooked right there. It's going to be a punish. Yes. Even built a little Hope bar because of the cancel. That. That's another uh, situation that you were talking about earlier, Mike, where, you know, that optimization to build meter is also such an awesome thing to see at a high level. Yeah, for the... So the speed that your brain has to work to be like, okay, I'm about to win this round. Instead of doing this combo that's going to build me no meter, I'm going to do this combo that's going to build me a little meter um, while I finish off my opponent. Galaxy brain, like you've been saying, galaxy brain. It's, it's amazing to see. I love when a game just makes you, your brain rapidly think like that. Okay, that was like, man. Some crazy hit of it. So just jump out of there. Four active. A lot of bar on the screen. TC. He believes though. Oh, he truly believes. You see, go up the meter. Oh no! Ungrabbable. She was. She was in orbit of planet Earth on that overhead, and he's down. He's tried to down three it. He's tried to throw it, but that overhead's getting him cooked. TC looking so good with these cancels. You gotta love the cancel characters. They deserve to be the top character, top tier characters in the game, just because. It's so hard to get them going. Right now, TC has a little bit of pressure on him. He's, he's down in health. Active does have the meter advantage by far. Okay. He's creeping on that health though. Oh, he's in the corner though. Active got the advantage. Woo! Gets it out, but does not punish. Not going to matter before the breakaway. Or sorry, before the breaker comes. His life ends, and what he was a little worried about looked like it came to fruition, but he had his moments. Those overheads cooked him in rounds that he could have won if he, was, if, if he were to have gotten a turn back. I think this is going to be pretty dang close. Yeah, yeah. Active just like that goes up 1-0. But this is T-Seed we're talking about. There's still so much to be played, and man, these costumes, the Brazil costume, they actually oh, had yeah, that jersey in real life. Shoutouts to Brazil being our second largest audience on YouTube. Interesting stat that I found the other week, or interesting stat that I found. Shoutouts to Brazil. I didn't even know you could look up those kind of stats. Round one, 
the, te like, the technology is crazy. Yeah, you know who's your uh, audience. Know your audience. Yeah, for sure. One of these days, I'm gonna start to learn Portuguese just because of you guys. You sons of bitches. <laughs> there you go. I am half Portuguese. I can help you out. Here we go. Okay. Woo! He's looking really good. And look, look who it is. The, the Takeda himself. The only Takeda we see at the Coliseum. Look at the range. Oh, without a thought. Without a thought. Just toss in full screen mix ups. Yes, and now I remember it. Uh, TC, his airs, his jump back airs were so good with this character, just timing everything. He had an answer for all of it. Okay. TC is up after put, putting in a working, but TC can break her whenever he wants to, deciding not to though. Saving the meter. Wow, the jump two. And I thought Quan Chi's jump, a neutral jump two was good. Jeez. And just like that, TC put in the working. It is tied one to one. Okay. We got a real match. This was when we saw the Lasher get broken out back in week number one. In the grand finals. And it's coming there is a new back on display here. He looked a lot more comfortable. Just in general. Putting out larger, more active things. And that's kind of what got him smoked with Johnny. Is is you know all a lot of buttons that he pressed just got absorbed and annihilated. And he's like, you know what? Just like Texas, bigger is better. I'm just kidding. And it's working out for him so far. The fact that he was able to catch him with that like three-quarter screen whip into immediate corner pressure to start that was pretty insane. Even there, the time to armor. I love the way that he plays in that... I think you mentioned it as earlier, Mike. He tries to stop you from breathing. Yeah, with fighting against the enemy, you gotta keep it dirty. What I mean by dirty is just like stay in your face, like bait, but then don't care if they wake up. Like, just, just oh. a slug fest. Yeah, even yeah. right there, just you know that wild swing. But if you're right and it's if it's large and active, it's gonna do the Should job because active himself has been pretty active with his buttons. And so, I think that's a smart decision. 100%. TC knows what he's doing with his character. Look, he even got the baits down. He has the patience. As much as he's rushing in and everything, look how patient this man is. He's not giving active an answer for anything. Oh, look at all the meter as well. He could almost do anything right now, and it's working out. This is amazing to watch. This is this is really on paper too if you think about it. Like one of the ultimate characters at stopping, you know, to put it like I'm about to put it as he takes the round and the lead here. This is one of the best characters at making people block. He has the most range, safety, and built-in mix-ups. And just having the most range and some of the most active frames, it's hard to not block against this character. Tracking teleport, that's safe on block. LOL. Or no, not you tracking. Stop. He has to control where it goes, but still, a lot of craziness, and it looks like it's going to be answered with craziness, and we might have ourselves a beautiful little counter pick war going on. I'm amazed to see how many Quan Chi's have been played today. It's, a, it's an amazing. It brings happiness to my heart. But man, right now, T Seed, how how can you defeat this man? He has the spacing down. He just seems like he has all the right reads. I would think that this matchup might be kind of difficult if he can't get that portal going because Takeda's going to outrange him and bully him just like this. Reset neutral, and then you outrange Quan Chi again. That's how I would feel. Yeah, and that is how he's making him feel right now. He has not let him drop the portal yet. Oh, okay. now he's going to get it. Yep. Oh, but look, just like that, the Kunai stopped anything from happening with that portal. He got that hidden. It almost makes it, renders it useless. Oh, that was a disgusting sequence of events right there. I'm going to grab that one. The kunai through the portal, and then he was with... But before he could even realize that he was that he could be hit, he was coming full screen, anti-airing him, and what a conversion, too. Because Quan Chi, even if you get hit full screen, you don't expect to get hit, like, right a second after. 
And so you think they've got a little more breathing room than that. And breathing room is what? What we think T Seed's all about. Take it away. And T Seed, though, he, he is down in life, but just like that, the amount of pressure this man just gives you, it's, it's hard to see how MK Action is going to get through this right now. He's feeling the pain of Quan Chi players. He's getting pressure. The, ar the armor's not even up anymore. Wait, okay, he just got the armor back. And look oh. again. TC just knows how to just stop you from having that armor. Just throw a kunai out there. Just a combo. Nope, you cannot jump out. TC's meaties are on point. You saw that same sequence again where he's just able to cover so much more because this is last year Takeda, or Takeda in general, because of the, the height of those whips. TC, our active's not ready for it. You know, again, your Quan Chi, you jump up, you're not expecting to get hit. You're looking to react with something with NJP. He's getting smoked for it. Uh, watch a little bit of that sequence here in this one. Oh, look at that range. Yep. His spacing is so beautiful to watch. Jump backs. In the full screen we go. And here. Oh, I thought he could get it going. And before... Look at that. He was punished for doing an instant air skull immediately. That's insane. We have a Cyrax on the screen for some reason. He says, one in doubt, I'm going to mix it out. What do you block that? Oh, <laughs> I like that. You aren't supposed to be able to block those. And he did it. Maybe that's why he's in Grand Finals. Yeah, his defense is on a, another level for sure. And this Cyrax, though, active, man. I'm a fan of the Cyrax. Who just decided, hey, Cyrax is going to be, like, the biggest combo character in MK9 and in MKX. Right? Combos go on for days. Go use the restroom, come back, and, and then get ready to guess again. If you're alive. Well, this ain't be enough. Oh, nothing he could have done. But but he tried to he tried to rob him with the, what is it, 10-frame wake-up of a, of a projectile? So many Cyrax players. Wake up with that bomb. In the GG's. Yeah. And he's gonna see it finally shut down. And what TC is doing right now, I think his meaties are so perfect. A lot of people, they'll complain like, people could just jump out of my meaty, this and that. You're not timing it as good. A lot of people I witness trying to jump out of TC's meaties and stuff, but TC's meaties are just, he times them so well, you are not able to get out. It's either and you have to wake up armor. Even if he mistimes the mid, the whip that comes afterwards, even if you can disrespect and jump, it's gonna hit you because it goes to the sky and back. Hard knock down here. Ooh, gonna go for a ride. What a setup from active right there. All this meter list trying to throw it. It's gonna cost him, but look, TC, that was a bold break right there, and it cost him the round and all of his meter. B bold break. Final round. Fight. Yeah, man, active. Finally getting around. He was just looking like the dominating force of this top eight. But TC, not not picking Takeda until grand finals and showing why. Keeping the secrets to himself, showing like I'm not gonna let these opponents get used to my playstyle with Takeda. Bringing it out only when necessary. And right now it's necessary against Active. Woo! Look at the rage. That was a bullying. Getting at that max distance uh, extended down one range has looked pretty lethal here. What's the mix? He's able to... He, he, I lied right to your face. He disrespected it with an NJP, and it sure as heck worked. What's the mix here? Oh, no. I don't agree with that. I would have been going for some kind of setup for the win. He had the resources. TC didn't, and it costs active huge right there. He let go of the momentum by not putting him in a situation that could have killed him. This is That's what Cyrax was built for. You, you, you have gone off target. You are no longer after your objective at that point. Hmm. Yeah, TC, man. This, this Takeda, how, how can you stop it? And yes, active going back to Melina. Just the swag. He's he's working it, but TC just knows how to he has all the right reads. He's he's working it. He has the spacing down. He's covering all the spaces Melina's powerful at. Jeez, T Seed, I this is a this is a new man this weekend. Man possessed and looking for vengeance from week one where he got second. Salty second. 
Yeah, a lot of these players that get their second, they get their run back, and uh, he wants that title. He's looking like it could happen. Active A, shout out to Active B. No one knew this man came out of nowhere and just said, "Hey, look at all this cool stuff I invented with these characters." Um, and to be in grand finals against these killer necros, man, that is to be respected. T seed right now, the dominating performance. Ooh. Be some huge damage. Oh, no, not, not, not really huge damage. Yeah, he averages about 30%. But it, it's still enough. And this is starting to become one sided here. It's first to seven, guys. We witnessed the 7 1 yesterday in the Justice Grand Finals. Not hoping for a repeat story here tonight. Was not expecting this last year to cater to be the pick. But when you think about what we were expecting coming into this, the wild swings. No one can swing wilder and get away with it than Takeda, in my opinion. Well, one of them anyway. The other being this Molina, but the range of Takeda has been such a presence for him to deal with it, and he's gone into a lot of active frames. He gets smoked for it. Those NJPs covering all that distance safely, mind you. Same thing with those strings. What is that? Back one, two? Looking like that uh, that song. Whip it good. He is whipping it good. This man, T Seed. I. To see him from week one become a fan, I I cannot wait to meet this man in real life. Give him a hug, take a picture. Jeez, he puts on a show. Active mm -hmm. with the show earlier in the day. Jeez, TC just I didn't think no one could stop Active from what he was doing, but TC has all the right answers right now. What can Active do? He's picking a bunch of characters. What's it gonna be? Round one. Is this... Christmas is 5-1 now. Yeah. I got so, uh... Whoop. Yep. Got you, TC. I got lost in the story, man. In the moment. In the mix. TC, while fighting, is, uh... Chatting is it up. <laughs> he, he's making sure he wants to be as optimal as possible. He says, okay, I only need two more. I'll be approaching it differently. First time we've seen Cassie at all here on the Coliseum. Yeah, active trying to find an answer to this Takeda. He knows he has to stay a little back. Yeah, the mid range, Takeda just dominates the mid range. With all those jump neutral jump twos and the oh, the NJP has been eating him for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, domination got to take a breather. He has to just slow it down. Figure out what what got him to this point. What got him to grand finals? He has to say, hey, I am MK active. I can do this still. Look at this range. This is abuse. Oh my god, look at the far away. He's pressing these buttons. Active. Needs someone. Can he phone a friend? Can he tag someone in? I'll allow it. Oh, what about you? Savage at his finest, and nothing it seemed that active could do could stop him from pressing a button right there, Mike. That's domination. Yeah, T Seed is feeling good right now. Up 6 1, but hey, you can, in MKX, momentum's a thing. And you can never. Don't get too comfortable. You need one one more match, and that one match could, could be tough to get. Going against Active, what's Active's next choice? Because that is the character he's going to have to stay with the whole way. What's going to be the character to win it? And yes, I agree with this. Okay. This is going to be it. And he do it. This is the Molina. This is what shocked us in the beginning. This is what brought him onto the scene. And and he solidified his name in the Coliseum with this character. MK Active. It's his last hope. PC'd up. 6-1. Going down. Oh, the neutral jump punches. Working all night for TC. Okay. Okay. These fighters, they're not sweating for no reason, too. This match arena is at $232. That's a lot of change right there, and these boys are playing for positioning at the end for a chance at a piece of it. Oh, yeah, they're all fighting for these points right now. TC, man. It's, the action's going in, though. The action's going in. He's looking good, but TC is going to take this round. Oh, and he's going out. 
too, that NJP, the presence of it, looked terrifying. Look at the range that he's able to press even here. Active's afraid of that extended down one into the whip. He makes a big read with the roll, and more importantly, gets the side switch. What a breathe room. He's out of the corner. At the bar. TC swings with like with a stand two, and it got the end here. Match point now, tournament point, and he's abusing the range. Huge damage. 32% teleport, not finding the hit. TC still has two bars. Gotta got worry about the reversal armor that this character has that has two hits of absorption, if I'm not mistaken. And actives on the pounce. Got the lead, lightly. Looks for the mix, it looks like he's shimming him a little bit, but he can't get confirm. Two for two, oh no. He gets the round and it's something, something here, Mike. Yeah, there's still life and active. I like what I see. It's not over yet. PC just got a shock in his brain. He's like, wait a minute. Okay, can't get too comfortable. Did you know when active goes up, he doesn't go up just one one match. He's gonna get a few in a row. He's gonna feel himself. PC got to stop this man now, or the momentum will be in active's favor. Right. This range, man. It's fighting games is all about abusing what tools you have, and these both of these men are showing what these characters, what they're good at, what the, what you can abuse with them. And oh, okay, that's the active we know. Yeah, finally we saw him swag out here in this grand final. And is he gonna get on the board? Oh, what a tech from TC, and that's gonna be an active. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not over yet, and that was the perfect thing, I think, to get him back in this. He just needed to swag out. Oh my goodness. And like I said, active could come back. The momentum, when Active feels there himself, the momentum will shift in his favor, and it's going to be hard for TC. We've seen it, but I forgot who it was. I think it was Ghost Samurai. We've seen when they were up by a lot, actually, and then the comeback happened. I think it was Cyclone that came back on, on Ghost Samurai the first week, or, or it was TC, actually, the first week. And now TC doesn't want it to happen to him again, where he's up, and, and then Active, man. Can't count him out. We were counting him out. He was down. He, he, he had one round left in his life bar. Now, he has the momentum. He can get the grab. Got two bars a meter. The spacing that he could use with this man. Knowing what Takeda's all about. Beautiful anti air by TC. He knows all the ranges. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> she made it all with. There's, there's one way to deal with it. Was, we're talking about the abusiveness of the string. He says, "I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remove it entirely." That's a lot of whiffing, though. TC with the patience, a little bit of surprise patience there. Yeah, and there it is, the jump back. TC is known for. Oh, and that could be the final nail in Active's coffin. He was here before. It's another championship point for TC. And Active is on life support. What's it going to be? How is he going to come from this? Okay. Oh, man. It's looking tough for Active right now. TC is on a tear. He has the meter. Active is only almost at like 25% health. Oh, my goodness. Dwindling. Oh, he just reacted perfectly to the run. Has the meter. Can mix if he wants to. Another beautiful. Ethereal. The dagger works out. Active big conversion on the air there. No meter to convert. Wake up NJP and TC. It's going to take week number four. Another NJP. Another day at the office. And he takes a week here at the Coliseum. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Oh! Takeda wins. Fatality. Perfect hey. ending to a Coliseum if there ever was one. Molina dying. Hey, but good stuff to Active, man. I hope to see him around more often. He had some great moves. He was looking good. TC, though, the champ. I'm your biggest Pay fan, your TC. Respect. Great stuff by both players. Wow, what a week game. four. These, these weeks have not been disappointing. It just seems like the bar is set more and more. Like, week five, what's going to happen? I don't know. Is a new player just going to come out of nowhere and change the game? 
who knows? We've been getting a nice influx of new players every single week. Looks like a couple people are interested in the chat tonight. If you're watching this on YouTube in the future, I hope everything's good. I hope that we're still here. Um, I hope things are cheaper. I hope that gas goes down a dollar. Again, if you're watching this in the future, maybe 20 years from now, I hope everything's hope everything's okay. But if you want to get involved, smash.gg slash Coliseum. There's still four more weeks left. I want to give a heads up that we are not going to have shows for the next two weeks. We're taking the holidays off. We want you guys to enjoy it. Christmas weekend is uh, next weekend. And then New Year's is the following weekend. And so enjoy it. And when we come back, it's four straight weeks and then two weeks of finales every single Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So sign up for future events at smash.gg slash Coliseum. If you guys are competing in MK11, that's going to be happening tomorrow night. Same time, same place. 7 p.m. for the stream, 4 p.m. to start competing. If you guys want some more to compete in in MK11, East Coast Throwdown every Tuesday. $500 prize pool. Hit me up if you want the uh, link to that. I'll post it in the Discord as well. Follow East Coast Throwdown on Twitter um, for this one. Extra extra money on the line, guys. Um, the pools aren't huge. I think they've averaged like 40 people a bracket. So if you think you got a shot at hitting top four, get a piece of that prize pool. And that's every Tuesday. This is the standings before the week. And so TC going to get 200 points. Jump up to 350. That puts him up in top four, I think, guaranteed. What a jump for him. Curly getting points. I know Ash got a little points. Got Ghost Samurai and Creaky Axe. Both in there today. Active as well. Both of them jumping up together. Shaking up Mortal Kombat X entirely. And the points will be uh, updated. Uh, give or take about Monday. Let me get a little bit of a breather. We'll get those points updated. And Mike, that's going to be week number four, baby. It was a great time. Our champion. Your boy. I think you picked it. I think you... What's the opposite of a commentator's curse? A commentator's blessing? You just gave that man a commentator's blessing. Yes, I am so happy about TC making it. He actually said my name in the chat. I feel like a little schoolgirl right now. Shout out to TC. I'm so happy, man, for you. Can't wait to see more of that. I hope Cyclone comes back. I hope Unbearable Skill comes back. Um, and just, just, this has been so great, man. We're already going to be on week five next week. This yeah. is crazy. Or, the finals are coming. Uh, week five is going to be, because we're, t we're taking the next two weeks off for holidays. It'll be January, MKX will be January 8th. will be the next one. Ah, uh, okay. Next yep. one's January 8th. All right. January wow. 8th, guys. So be there or be square. I'll keep you updated on Twitter and in the Discord. As well as all that fun stuff. If you guys think you have what it takes, sign up. Good luck. Because you're going to need it. And that's going to be it for week number five. If you guys like what you see, give us a like, a follow, a subscribe. We appreciate all the support. The Macherino growing every single week. I pressed the wrong button right there. There it is. Jumped up to 233. I know some people use those, those coupon codes in the last few moments. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it here. If you guys ever want to donate directly, click that Macherino. Get this thing up there. I'm going I'm to I'm put it in the chat right now. Say I won't. Exclamation point. Macherino. Get those donations in there. Mike, do you have any closing thoughts tonight before we say goodnight and get out of here and go have this beautiful evening? Oh, man. Uh... So I would like to give a special shout out actually to a, a NorCal scene coming. Um, they're called Kingdom Arcade and they're just trying to bring the scene back together in NorCal. Um, they're having a special event tonight. MKX was actually in it. I still did commentary here so I couldn't sign up but there was people like Shaolin, a lot of NorCal players. Ooh, yeah, but if you're yeah, if you're from NorCal, um, these are the people to watch out for. I'm going to be helping them out. Um, follow them on Twitter kingdom underscore arcade um so shout outs to them man much love i just want 
I just want to see the scene come back. Not just in NorCal, but just everywhere. I just want the offline scene to come back. I want to see people train each other and just be better at these games. That's all I want, man. Let the FGC live. Yeah, let's fucking go with T Seed Mike saying Butcher Leatherface next week. No way. No way. T Seed, always bringing the hype. You're pulling my heartstrings. But it's not next week. It's going to be on the 8th, January yep. 8th. January 8th is going to be week number five, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for Mortal Kombat 11. Same time, same place. Good night. We'll see you then. Peace. The Coliseum Season 2 is brought to you by pixelpro.io empower the creators and the coliseum studios that's right we're our own sponsor check out events merch music and more at coliseum.gg Thank you.